Oh, uh, hey, your name would go to kids, logical and terrier. Uh, when's the blast and start? Uh, maybe like a minute. I don't know. Uh, when you wake up to go to school? Mm. Well, I do stream at the same time every day for the most part. So. Who am I? I. I don't know how to answer that question. Hey, Melly. Uh, but yeah, this is continuing the, um, Phoenix Blaster only one that we had started a couple days ago. Um, we just got into post mechs. I think the last thing we did was kill the destroyer. Um, I'll need to get life food, go mining in the jungle, find a plantera arena, stuff like that. Um, but yeah. We'll get to work on that. My legs are fucking dead after yesterday. That was so exhausting. Especially the wall jump segments in Shoreline. It's still really sore after that. Uh, but yeah, um... I don't know if we'll be able to finish the game today. Depending on how long the late game bosses take. Uh, we'll have to see. I think I can probably at least get to Cultist. Um, or like post golem. Um, let's. Okay. God, I really wish the Rainwood jukebox had the um the threat music, because the threat music is usually really good. And it's really disappointing that it's not uh not in there. Hey, meow meow. Holy shit, it's the Underworld. It's a Bone Serpent. I recognize that guy. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay. Um... Yeah, my NPCs are all dead. Might not be the place because of, because of the layers. Yeah, I get that it would be difficult to implement because of that, but... I mean, they have it on, like, YouTube. Oh, great. It's annoying. I do have 7,000 bullets, and that'll probably be enough. Uh, I should go use an ammo box. I think I've got one somewhere. Hey, get, get out. But yeah, when it comes to vampires, um, if they're horizontal to you, you can keep them in vampire form and not bat form, which generally makes them a lot easier to deal with. Let me... Where did I put my ammo box? It's up here. Like, when they're not on the same elevation as you, that's when they switch to bat form. But as long as they're on the same elevation, they'll um, chill around in human form. Makes them a lot easier. Damn! Two vampires, two moonstones. Interesting. Uh, gnomes still turn to statues uh, during solo eclipses. Okay. I mean, I, I guess this is good RNG. Uh, it's ah, blowing through ammo though. I don't have a water candle. No. 
The problem is I can't even use my pylon because, um, oh my NPCs are dead. What can I get in Queen Panther clips? Uh, bat wings? I get bat wings. Um, I mean, I guess depending on how ONG lines up, if I get a, um, a Neptune shell here, uh, I could see, um, a Celestial shell potentially being on the table later. Um, Uh, I guess I also get money out of it, which is all right. I'll need to decide late game whether or not it's worth getting Shroomite armor, or if I just rock like Beetle Shell. Um... In both cases. It's going to take a not insignificant amount of grinding, either for the turtle shells or for the, um, getting the truffle and whatnot. I'll just need to figure out whether or not the, uh, the damage is worthwhile at a lower damage weapon. I think it's got a decent enough base damage that Shroomite could be worth it. Man, for a solo eclipse, I'm really not getting very many spawns. I guess it's probably the housing over here blocking things. But there really has not been much nearby. Let me, uh... Hold on. I've probably got... Battle potions. Yeah! And I have a water candle. I don't see a water candle. Peace candles? Those aren't peace candles. Those are hollowed torches. Yeah, this is why exploding bullets are really nice. Hey, get out of here, buddy. Eyes always being an issue because uh, it's disrupted my ability to knock back the rest of them. I need a dead. Another death sickle. Come on. There we go. Those are much better spawn rates now. Yeah, I mean, it's decent money we're getting. At the very least. Yeah, we got plenty of ammo, so we don't have to worry about that. Like I said, I would not mind a bat wing, though. Damn, another eyesore. Now, as long as he's by himself, I should be able to take him out pretty easily. Spring. What's 
zealous death signal. Damn, we're getting a lot of money from this. I don't even know what I'm going to spend all that money on, but it's nice to have. Beating Troy with the Phoenix Blast or the Patience? Um... Spooku, I... I have beaten Terraria with a cop of short sword. Just, just, just putting that one out there. Uh, compared to that, the Phoenix Blaster is like speed running. Hey, uh, Lopsink. love exploding bullets so much. I can't I can't stress enough how much I love exploding bullets. I mean, the thing, the Phoenix Blaster is a really good weapon, Spooku. Like, um, sure, it's a pre-hard mode weapon, but it's a really good one. Like, it's better than a lot of, than several early hard mode weapons. Um, it's probably a lot better than you're giving it credit for. It does shoot fast. Yeah. Does it have auto fire? Um, all weapons have auto fire, given the auto fire option. I just think it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Yeah, bat wings, and I guess maybe a shell, um, because I could, I could see potentially making a slash deal shell much later, once we get post golem, which I guess isn't actually that much later. We'll be getting some banners soon. That would help out a lot. I mean, I would not mind doing this. I mean, I... Jason, man. I did do a handguns only run. Pre-1.4.4, which is basically Phoenix Blaster. You go, like, Undertaker to Phoenix Blaster to Venus Magnum. Um... And that was before auto fire was a thing. It just hurts your hand. The, uh, I think the first, first video I have uploaded on my channel is a highlight from that run, when I killed Plantera doing that. Give me a bat wing! Damn, you've gotten like a platinum from this, so... Oh yo, Midnight Sun! We could give... How would you beat Moonlord? He would just heal and you couldn't win? Uh, two things. One, the Phoenix Blaster is strong enough to kill the leeches that he spawns before they make it back to him. Two, you can avoid his healing. Um, have you tried modded Terraria? Yeah, I've, um... There were playthroughs of me... Damn, that battle potion made a big fucking difference, huh? Because as soon as that wore off, uh, the spawn rates have just gone 
uh, in the drain. Probably make another one real quick, yeah. Uh, no, I don't have death weed. I don't think. Whatever. Tactic is run with chlorophyte bullets. Oh yeah, I did beat the game with a flare gun too. Uh, the worst part to be the sound. Ah, uh, it's not too bad. Any favorite mods? I was not a huge fan of modded Terraria. Um. I mean, I only really... The mods I played, I played a randomizer mod, which was really fun for, like, a couple hours. I mean, I beat the game with a copper short sword. I... It, the flail gun's easier than that. I usually don't mention the flail gun one, because the flail gun one... Um, one, I don't have the VODs of anymore, because those were years ago. Um, and two, because the copper short sword one is, is more difficult. What the hell is bro a masochist? I'm a gamer. Okay. No luck with any shells so far. I'm not gonna hold my breath for one. You thought the flare gun would be worse because the projectile limit? No, you just have to the thing with the flare gun is your damage with flares. You don't deal damage with flares. You deal damage with the on fire debuff the flares themselves do very little damage so there's no reason to spam flares so you don't hit the projectile cap oh hey mike uh okay now let's have a blood moon in 15 seconds too just to waste even more time Phoenix Blaster is my favorite melee weapon. What about a boss with resistance on fire? Uh, there were three of them. Um, well, four of them, actually, because of Wall of Flesh. Why did you have... Why did you say that? You didn't ha You could have kept that to yourself. I didn't need to... Why did... <laughs> yeah. I... That's where you're invisible so long? Okay. I... I feel like I didn't need to know about you taking a massive shit and it getting infected. Like, you could've... Uh, but yeah. Golem is the worst boss in Flare Gun only. In my opinion, because he's immune to on fire. The Destroyer is immune to on fire, but the Flare Gun has infinite piercing. Um, so you actually deal somewhat okay damage against, uh, the Destroyer. Uh, the Cultist is also immune to On Fire, and the Cultist also sucks. Cultist and Golem are both really awful. Um, because they're both immune to On Fire. Um. And, I, I think Golem took, like, nine hours, and Cultist, I don't even remember. Um. Is he mentally insane? Well, he is, like, femboy beansock, man. Or whatever. Oh, let me, uh, move some NPCs in here. I can use my pylon. Uh, who's a good follow-up? Let's do Die Trader. Okay, uh, we need to get to... Yeah. 
sell. Mm, I'll keep one Moonstone. Yeah, Solar Eclipse are such good money. Okay, uh, do we want to reforge anything? Eh. Honestly, not really. Things are pretty much fine. I have the ability to make mining potions? I don't. Uh. Okay, well, let me um make a pickaxe axe. Oh, I already made a pickaxe axe. I want to reforge my pickaxe axe. Uh, Savage's size damage knockback. Yeah. Nasty does have a speed debuff, so let's get nasty. Stone in here. Bone Serpent Kite in here. Or if you find an aglet. Oh, sorry, an anklet. Uh, oh, I have plenty of binding potions, though. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go hunting for the temple. Can I make more Spelunkies? Uh, what am I missing? Oh, the ore. I can just bring that over. Okay. Um, this isn't great mining speed. Do I have the mining set? No. Um, but this should work fine for what we want to do. Um, and maybe I'll, uh, ask some time in a bed to let some life fruit grow. Because we can find them a bit easier. My bed's right over here. I don't think I've really been to the jungle at all. Uh, if you weren't here, this is a hard mode start game, meaning that I started in hard mode. Sure, but it's NPC damage only. NPC damage only. Pretty much any passive damage sources are just incredibly boring challenges to do. Um, I'm also not... I think you could do NPC damage only on the Wall of Flesh, but it would be incredibly annoying. Like, un ungodly annoying. Um... With the rest of it, like, you basically sit there and you don't play the game. And you just hope that the NPC things work. Oh. Uh, do what you want. Do you support people that use Clawfight Bolts on normal enemies and spam Clawfight Bolts in the air? What do you mean support people? I mean, I, I think that's just a waste of Clawify bullets. You got a notification you're not even subscribed? That's weird. They don't home in when firing in the air? Uh... Cherry with Thorns Potion only? Uh, that's not possible. Thorns Potions only work on enemies that deal contact damage, and not all bosses deal contact damage. Uh, notably, the Moon Lord does not deal contact damage, and you couldn't Thorns Potion only the Moon Lord, because, um, he doesn't deal contact damage. I mean, I feel like you just do Hellfire. Hellfire is good. I mean... Inferno potions are great, but you'd have to do it on journey mode to give yourself infinite Inferno potions, because otherwise grinding for Hellfire potions is a massive pain in the ass. Um, sorry, but enemy drops only. Um, me could. I don't really have that much interest in it, but you could. Hey, Rodrigo.
Does a ghoul give contact damage? No, none of the Moon Lord's damageable pouts deal contact damage. The only time that the Moon Lord deals contact damage is after you've popped out an eye. And the thorn socket is out. Do I ever plan on doing Voonscape? No, I do not have plans on playing Voonscape. But the socket is not a damage segment. Um. Well, I assume you wouldn't be able to use armor aside from Crystal Assassin or Ninja armor, DJ. Because those are enemy drops, and your accessories would be super limited as well. Is what I assume enemy drops only to mean, not just weapons, but all the gear. Um, no, I don't really have plans on playing RuneScape. And my sister plays RuneScape, but I don't... The laser counts as contact damage, really? It gets thorns reflected? That's interesting. But that would only apply to the top eye, it wouldn't apply to the hands and the core. There was a no block placement run that used hollowed bows and evil also make ancient hollowed armor and use that. I mean, you could also just not use armor. I mean, no need armor. Uh, and I mean, crystal assassin's fine. When I did no crafting, uh, I think I just used crystal assassin. But yeah, um, ancient hollowed at the demon altar has good. Hey, buddy. I wouldn't mind a Philosopher's Stone or Bandit Regen. Do you not get sucked into Calamity? I mean, I just thought Calamity was... I don't know. I, I didn't really think it was really... I thought it was fun to play once, but... Definitely... Do it and not get sucked into it. XOMX suck? Yes. Um, I think, like, a lot of the... I feel like it was all downhill in Calamity after Providence. I feel like most of the post-Poltergast stuff was just not very fun. A Poltergast also sucked, don't get me wrong. Like, Yaron didn't like that much. Couldn't tell what the fuck was going on during the fight. It was just Duke Fish run, but more annoying. I uh, didn't like Supreme Calamitous that much, felt really overtuned. Didn't like Exomex. Um Hey hamburgers. Exomex is harder than Calamitous? Uh yeah, yeah, I think it was. This is what we're talking about, Elements Unleashed. I mean, the Calamity's been making a lot of changes that I think have been good from what I've heard, but, I mean, I just don't have that much interest in replaying it in general. Uh, that's plenty of time. There, do for stuff to grow. You tend to wait to play Calamity until you're ready to do a New Game Plus run and you run it on Revengeance with Thorium and a few other quality of life mods. Calamity was improving until the lead dev chased half his team away. I don't entirely understand Calamity's development process or what's going on with that. Um, or how that works out. 
Um, the main thing that I know is that the like calamity community treated the uh, the main guy that was doing calamity music like shit, and then he like stopped making music for them. Um, and that's about the extent of it that I know. Uh, DM Dokubo, yeah. Is a hollowed mimic this close to the surface? Hold on. Where the fuck? Damn. That is like... Just barely underground. Can I make my way up here? Uh, what do we got? There's probably a play here. The thing with Crystal is that most of the subsequent shots aren't even hitting it. Okay, now they are now that it's moving. When it was standing still, it wasn't. Uh, I haven't played Fogos. I've thought about it, and I might at some point. I don't have any plans to right now. Um... I don't know. I mean, I've talked about my thoughts on Calamity Mod a lot in the past. I don't feel like rehashing all of that. Rapid Fire Clawfight on an extra one Mimic. Uh, you know, I wish that was true, but they nerfed reflections into the ground to the point that they do no damage. Oh, I fucking hate massive crafting paths like that. Um, that was one of my least favorite things in Calamity Mod, is when I would see an item in Recipe Browser and there'd be a huge crafting thing. And I know Fergus has stuff like that, and that really makes me not want to play it, because I don't like things like that. The extent of drama in the Minecraft modding community is hackers and RATers. Those are unavoidable. I guess there's 4,000 items. Okay, I'm not making it. <laughs> yeah, miss me with that shit. I'm not... I'm not about that life. Okay, there's an anklet. Ratters is people that make mods that are viruses. Mm. Oh, my inventory's full. Come on.
Yo, staff of regrowth. Nice. Bogus mutant mod is good, but not for but not souls. Okay, I think flower frost. Definitely flower frost. Fuck, it's frostbite again. Join the stream, watch the twist. Um, I use the Phoenix Blaster. The... I don't know, does that count as a twist? I don't know. I should, um, Yeah, as of right now, I'm, uh, mining around looking for the temple, and, um, trying to get, like, life food and chlorophyte and whatnot. Uh, so far, not great luck with life food. I don't have a metal detector, so it's a little bit tricky to... Okay, there's one. Which extra mech were you, mech were you doing last? Like, which one did you have left? Please describe them based on their mech name, because I don't fucking know which one is which. I don't know who the fuck Thanatos is. Just the Destroyer Primer Twins. <laughs> Destroyer? Okay. Man, uh, not much luck with everything so far, huh? Very uneventful trip to the jungle. I mean, I'm getting qualified, I guess, which is good, but... Oh, there's some Moonlord legs. Uh, but yeah, somebody had asked about whether you could find Moonlord legs in, um, just surface chests. That's, uh, proof for you. You can find them in any chest. Uh, you just often find them in surface chests because of living trees being very prevalent and having a lot of surface chests. I mean, I'm getting plenty of money for mimics. Okay, we're gonna go three for three on frost brands. Let's see.
Na, Eisbau. Temple found. Grab these life crystals from more uh, hot lanterns. P1.4. Did they nerf mimic drop amounts in 1.4.4? I did notice they seemed a bit lethargic with their money, but I don't remember that being a change. That's annoying. Yeah, I know they dropped the nymph, uh, nymph amount. Um. Mm, might as well. Potion wore off, unfortunately. Sec to regen HP. Hmm. I got more dangerous sensors, though, so we're fine. Yeah, I didn't hear about it, Curdle. So it was that's the first time I had heard about that. God, I wish I had a... Uh... Ah, uh, Hunter Potion. I should loot these chests because some of them might have hunters. Damn, you these guys really just do shit damage, huh? I didn't realize it was that low. Oh, that's awkward. I guess the second phase they probably deal more, but... Yeah, 
That snake gonna come in? They do shocking. I mean, I... I mean, the traps do a fuck ton of damage. I got hit for like 300 and accidentally stepped on a spear trap earlier, but... I really thought lizards did more than, uh... 50 damage. I mean, it would be like 100, because I have like 60 defense, but... I don't really know why I came in here. I mean, I haven't killed Planterra yet. There's not. Not really much to be gained here, but... I guess I could, uh... Oops. Yeah, that... That's the part of the temple that actually deals damage. Uh, where was my... Uh, where are my blocks? There we go. It's just like my... It's down there. Okay. Did I hook into the temple? Yeah. Man, I have not had much luck with this spike gen. It's being a real pain. Okay, thankfully, spiky balls do way less damage than uh, spears. There we go. Uh, I don't know. I mean, do I just hoik out of here now? <laughs> I guess I just hoik out of here, huh? Okay. I can go ahead and set up a pylon here. Make it a bit more convenient to get back. Uh... Take a sec. It's my favorite and least favorite boss. Um, I'm bad at picking favorites. I've had that happen before, Molly. Uh, mine was in a For the Worthy World, not a, um, not a drunk seed. But, yeah, it's annoying. It's gonna take a sec. It's a lot. Okay, there we go. I can see the edge now. And I may as well make the Plantera Arena here. Um, that way it'll double as a Golem Arena. And the Pylon's gonna be here right here too. If I'm fast about this, I can move NPCs in before daytime. This Angry Trapper is gonna hit me, isn't it?
Damn it. I knew the Angry Trap was going to be an issue. I was prioritizing um, trying to be fast there too much. I really wanted to get that house built before morning. Save one to Shimmer. I might as well go... Yeah, the Shimmer's up over there. I don't have a pylon over there. Let's save it in there. Uh, yeah. I'll just go dig down right there. That'll be fine. I'll just have to wait until the following morning to uh, get the pylon. Why is the wall so long? Uh, the Temple Gen just does that sometimes. Is this a special seed? Uh, this is a drunk seed. Let's see, you know, why the temple was painted green. That's a, that's a drunk seed thing. I may as well get some shiver going. I painted the whole temple green by myself. That does sound like something I would do. Yo, Twobble. Twobble. Twobble down. I want to loot gold chests. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I wanted a band of regen. Uh, cool. Uh, Plantera bulb here. Good to find. There was a life fruit for a second. Another life crystal over here. Another hunter potion. That's good. Yo, Twobble! Telling the Moss Hornets uh, when they're convenient because they might drop a tattered B Wing, and that would be nice to have. Okay, 
more money. Uh, Life from... Let me just go back down here. It's a lot of chlorophyte, which is good. That's a... Wait, that's a different beehive. Is it? Is that the same beehive, or is that a- I need to check that out, because that beehive would be fucking massive, even for a drunk world. If that's the same beehive. Hey, Moth. It did look like a very big hive. But I want to build my, um... House down... God, is there another hive here? Damn. I going to Golem now? Uh, no. I'm building a, an arena. And it's gonna double for Plantera and Golem. the enemy spawn rates uh building a pylon but i mean spawn rates also help
Favorite biome? I'm bad at picking favorites. I don't know. Why does everyone ask me my favorite? I don't know what my favorites are. I don't have favorites. Uh, this is on master mode, as the title says. Most average item? Um... Not bad, average. I feel like... Blue Moon. Blue Moon. Like, it's not bad, but it's immediately outclassed by the Sun Fury. It's a flail, it's kind of awkward. And like, it's not a bad item. But it's just kind of like, eh, it's, it's alright. I mean, I appreciate the number of mimics. It's a nice source of money. I don't need money, but... Put some of the stuff in the safe. Graph potion. I need to go back to the bite. So we're getting out of the jungle now. Yo, a steak! Nice. I'm gonna put that. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna put that in here. Why not take the life fruit now? Did I put it in the safe? I wasn't really paying attention. Well, have fun with that, uh, JCZ Cosmic. Still not nighttime. I start heading back now, I think by the time I get there, they'll be about moved in and I can buy the pylon. Okay, there's a bulb right here. That's good. I've not had much luck with life fruit. 
which is unfortunate. I haven't had any luck with moths either. Another mimic. Uh, did my hunter put not my hunter push still active? Ah, there it is. Bit easier to catch a vampire for wings. Uh, I mean, I killed plenty of vampires, they didn't drop wings. Behind it, a whole eclipse earlier. More moth one. I am pre-Plantera. Hold on. We can do it. The opportunity has presented itself. She's right- the Dryad's right here. Torture. Oh, well, Sorch is dead. Oh, I need to upgrade my, uh, my anvil, or uh, my, my forge. Um, I don't have any, uh, titanium, do I? Sure get some. Which I think means I have to break altars, because I haven't done that yet. Uh, yeah, sure. Actually, no, 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 I don't need to do that. I don't need to break altars. I have shimmer. make a snow pylon over here while I'm at it. Make it easier to get to this side of the world. The 
the black screen for you. Uh, anyone else having issues? Is the pre-boss hard? No, I don't understand the question. Um, I guess, uh, let's see, what do I have? Uh, Wizard Powder Girl? Is this a bird? Uh, no, it's a bee. It's a bee. That looks like the Obi's logo. No, it's a bee. That's like the bee's, uh, like, antenna. Make it float? No, it's standing because it has legs. Big legs for a small bee? Well, he's tall. He's... It's a tall bee. not a small bee. Mm. I'll probably get to work on building plant towers in the next...
Is my path to the shimmer? Yeah. Damn, another eclipse? Mm. I guess I could try to get wings again. I need to get more ammo though. Okay. Where's my uh Ammo obtained. I don't even have a health forge. <laughs> uh, I'll have to deal with that in a minute. Hey, get out of here. Man, I'm not having any luck with any of the drops I actually want. NPCs alive. Wish I could buff spawn rates. Try killing a red devil. I could do that, yeah. I think they upped the drop rate of, of uh, Requiem. Uh, I think they upped the drop rate of Fire Feathers, right? They're not as rare as they used to be. Well, I'm gonna get uh, banners soon, which will make this a lot easier. Especially with these fucking Fritz. And it makes sense because you like you would never, never go to um L to try to get a pair of wings because the drop weight was just so bad on an uncommon and, and difficult to kill enemy. Why am I doing this? For fun. I like the Phoenix Blaster.
Please die, Zor. There we go. Okay, reach from the deep banner. Almost got a swamp thing banner, too. Stop! Spawning Izors. Phoenix Blaster Dance Bad Win. Aiming would be a fucking nightmare. Izor's killed your Calamity, no death run. That sucks. I mean, at least we're getting money out of it, right? There's like battle potions, though. Do I hear a vampire? Eyes are gone. Should get rid of him pretty handily. There we go. Man, I don't think I've gotten anything to- Stop spawning Izors, please! Spawn a different enemy. Give me vampires. <sighs> yeah, no, like Moths are the ideal host mech wing Did the Eclipse even drop anything? Uh, I got Requiem The painting Uh, that is the only thing that I've got this entire Eclipse
I haven't even seen a vampire in ages. That was a bad wing. Okay. Okay. I guess I guess it was worth it. I don't Sure, I'll take it. Whatever. And I guess we also have banners so that if another eclipse happens, it'll be pretty easy to kill things. Not that there's really anything we would want from them, but... Stop! The laser fucker. fuck off. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Now that I got a bat wing, it'll drop again. I I'm fine with that. I I don't mind duplicates. I can just sell it for more money. I wouldn't mind a Neptune shell though, because that would enable me to get um, a celestial shell if I get a sunstone drop from Golem. Without much trouble. If I kill Big Moth and he drops Broken Hero Sword, am I going to make Terra Toilet? No, I'm probably just going to sell it. Because it's like 10 gold. Mothron is not in this Solar Eclipse, though. And the odds of me killing a Mothron are very low. Because there's nothing I would want from a post Terra Solar Eclipse. I would just go somewhere else. This is a great gnome farm, though. Is my house this yo gold squirrel hold on what's he at is he dead i think he no he's fuck where is he down he must have fallen down here no is he in the tree maybe he was in the tree he's probably in the tree Okay, well, we got 80 gold out of it in the Batwing, so that was worth. Uh, sure. Let's go back to the Shimmer.
I'm going to shimmer my wings to get the Souls of Flight back. Although, actually, do I have... I might just have enough Souls of Flight, incidentally, like, hang, hanging around. Nah, I only have 18, fuck. Shimmer works on wings? Yeah. Why wouldn't it? That's not true, Vico. Uh, there are some things that it does not work on. Um, but it, it works on wings. Uh, the Twitch stream seems to be struggling a lot. I might cut the stream over on Twitch. I'm seeing a lot of frame drops. What? Um... Mostly things that would be exploited because they can be obtained in other ways other than crafting them. Um, like, I don't... You can't shimmer um, the terror toilet. Uh, you can't shimmer um, hellfire arrows to get back the materials. They just give you shimmer arrows. Um, you can't shimmer... Uh, what am I gonna do here? Right, the wings. That's right. Uh, there are a few things I'm blanking at the moment. Yeah, I'm gonna cut the stream over on Twitch because it's struggling a lot. Wings. What is my house? Uh, the one up there? That's a centipede. Uh, right, it's gonna be forge. Oops. And that's a, that's a horse. It's a horse drinking water. I was gonna do some other accessory crafting. I was gonna get out my safe. Take these. Gonna make lightning boots because I can. And a charm of myths. Yeah, goblin. Expensive. There we go. Okay, and then we we'll make that swap. And uh, can also go ahead and reforge you to try to get boarding. Because we've got the money. A couple points of defense wouldn't hurt. I could do you as well. I don't actually want to cross necklace that badly. I'll probably swap it out at some point. The blizzard in a balloon? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, 
Uh, and yeah, let's go get a Hellforge. Uh, ah, you know, I'll probably make a magic luminescence for Planetara, I think. So many menacings? I don't want menacings. We can start building that Planetara Arena now. Anything I even want with Chlorophyte? Uh, yeah, this is a Drunk World. Why is it a Drunk World? Drunk Worlds are fun. I don't know. Do I need a reason? Negative bat wings don't look as cool. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah. Titanium Forge. Why Twitch end when you AFK for one moment? Uh, cause the Twitch stream was dying. And I ended it. It's about all there is to it. My house's legs? It's a centipede. What are my stats here? 16%. Wow, those damage stats suck. Uh... Five seven. I see the stats are more on these two. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Okay. Um. Mining time. Do I have a? Uh... I do. I'll make a match of luminescence. I think I'll use that for Plantero when the time comes. Alright, we are going to have to get rid of this uh, beehive. Okay, well I suppose I may as well... ...kick the ass of all the queen bees in here. Sit still. There's only one queen bee in here. There's another one. Okay. We got any more? Oh, it was just the two.
Does anyone know if it's the, um... Uh, the walls or the blocks that make a biome count? It's probably, it must be the walls, I feel like. Well, I, speci I was specifically talking about beehives in a drunk world, because beehives are a mini biome in in drunk worlds. And I don't know what aspect of them makes them count as the biome. Because just being near hive blocks doesn't do it. Because you don't get the the jacked spawn weights if you um just near a beehive, which means I feel like it has to have walls as a component. I don't like Plantero Venus without walls, but oh well. Does anyone know if Chlorophyte counts towards the status of a jungle biome? I'm not interested in that. I don't think it does, but I'm not certain. if you're not mistaken. What are you sourcing this off of? People usually clamp floor fight in their farms. But... You only need 140 blocks to count as jungle. It's not a very intensive requirement. Yeah, I'll probably test it and find out. I get what you're saying. Uh, I don't even think the wiki acknowledges that hive blocks count as jungle. I don't know that the wiki is going to give an accurate answer there.
There she is. Give me a metal detector. Just because the wiki does or doesn't say something doesn't mean it's true. And I feel like that information may not be present on the wiki. Uh, mud? Mud. Do I have a hive wand? Not actually. Oh, I'll do that later. Serena. I just put this flat here. And it'll shut off spawns. Probably doesn't count because the requisites to grow. What? I'm not sure I'm following. you spawn there i guess you can i guess trappers can spawn in uh oh wait no it's just a thin layer okay that's why fix that Kill that turtle. Bottom of the arena looks set. Just flesh out the top. It's all mined out, and then we should be good to go. I want to put down some arena buffs and whatnot, but we're pretty much done. I stand by my words, my actions.
I will, in fact, go to kill that turtle. And I did. This should be a very effective Plantero Arena, all things considered. The, uh, why the fuck would you go out there, Dryad? What the fuck? Why would you... You don't get to leave your house again. Making units with plant pots. And planter boxes. Nah, I'm not gonna use any planter boxes. Also, if you didn't know, uh, food buffs buff your mining speed. Uh, if you're going mining, would highly recommend uh, having some. Have I already beaten the Duke? No. If I do him, I'd probably do him post golem. Not much reason to do him before. He drops like nothing of value, aside from the mount, which I can't utilize for these two bosses. Um, and the wings, which are like a 1 in 10 drop, and I wouldn't bank on getting anyway. Oh yeah, no, planter boxes are great, um, because of Smart Cursor. Uh, I do love planter boxes, but I don't want planter boxes in a plantero, you know? Empress, I have not killed Plantera, so I couldn't kill the Empress. She, uh, it's not possible to kill her until after Plantera. And, um, I'm not sure I'll really be able to kill the Empress. I mean, she's, uh, not... Uh, please speak in English, Mohammed. Um, that's not an easy DPS race to win with a Phoenix Blaster, um, 124k HP, um, and, like, I don't really get that much out of the Empress, so I don't, I don't know, I'll see what I'm feeling, but, am I noob or pro? I don't, I don't know. Insignia? Well, if I have the truffle mount, I don't care that much. Did I kill Plantera? No, we're about to. It is Siamville. Hmm. Arena's a bit thin, but it'll do. It'll do. Let me get some arena buffs. Uh, let me sell some things. Ice bow. Swarm bow. Goes out. Sparkling honey. How much time to kill? Because you're basically in a no-hit challenge with the Phoenix Blaster? Well, I mean Nighttime Empress. Um... I think you could get enough damage, um, but you would just need to min-max a lot. Um, I think Shroomite, both scopes, Ranger Emblem, things reforged to Menacing would get you the damage there. I've definitely killed her before daytime with a Phoenix Blaster before, um, but I don't have the build to do that here.
Okay, well, uh, you know, I'll go mining for some, some life fruit. I may as well. Um, I've got a metal detector now. So it'll be a lot easier to find them. I know when to look. Uh, left. Is that a challenge? Uh, what? The Phoenix Blaster only? Huh? I don't think it's that much of a challenge. It's more just a fun way to play the game. Life fruit was not where I was expecting it to be. Uh, is that right up here? Oh, it's right there. I thought I would have caught it, so I kind of discounted it possibly being over here. I thought I would have got it when I was building the arena. I mean, it's a pre hard mode weapon. It's a good pre hard mode weapon. I mean, it's, it's a challenge, but I don't think it's a particularly difficult challenge. It's more just a fun challenge. Craft a chlorophyte weapon? Uh, that would kind of defeat the purpose of the challenge, because the idea of the challenge is to beat the game using the weapon that I'm using right now. Craft the armor? Uh, I'm fine with hollowed armor. I don't want to use chlorophyte armor. Oh, he's gone. Whatever. Oh, he's not gone? Ah, oh, he's gone. Whatever. Oh, beehive. Uh, not too much luck with... Uh... Finding life fruit recently. Man, there were a lot of beehives, huh? Yo, Torbal! Okay, that's two shells. I'll probably just go for beetle armor. Given that I already have two turtle shells and I don't have a truffle, um, unless I am fighting a boss that I feel like I need more damage on, um, which may possibly, which, I mean, if I was doing the Empress, I would do that with, with Jormite. Um, but I feel like at least, like, Fishron and the Moon Lord and stuff, that'll be a beetle armor situation. I mean, they must have... At least have some knowledge of the game if they're um talking about chlorophyte armor and whatnot. Man, I really, uh, just am not having any luck with life food, huh?
Yeah, I know, Muhammad. Thanks for letting me know, though. Appreciate the uh, the sentiment. If I could get a uh, an enchanted moon dial, that would help out a lot with the Empress. Because that would double the amount of time I have for the fight. But I'd have to fish for that, and that's not something I really want to do. Yeah, I mean, you still have, like, a, maybe, like, 10 or 15 seconds where she can possibly hit you. Uh, no, I I would like to make Beetle Armor. Beetle Armor is kind of a, a class agnostic uh, armor. It's just a tank armor. It's not a melee armor. It provides almost no offensive benefit whatsoever. It's just for tanks. Had no luck with life boot, damn. Go sleep, they'll spawn. I did sleep. It's... I, uh... I, I appreciate you trying to help, but I, I do I do know how to play the game. all three shells. I mean, at the end of the day, the extra HP isn't really that important to get, so I'm fine with just calling it at, like, 460 or something. How do you plant Terror fight's gonna be like? Uh, not very eventful. I mean, plant is not a very difficult boss uh, to fight with low damage. Um... She does not have very much HP at all. She doesn't have very much defense. Um, as a pro in Tiro, you recommend to focus on damage if you can dodge. Uh, nah, I'll, I'll, I'll pass. I'll pass. Uh, well, the Phoenix Blaster does actually... No, 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 it's fine, Muhammad. Don't worry about it. Um, the Phoenix Blaster does actually have very good base damage for a pre-hardmode weapon. And you can get 
pretty solid damage um, with a Phoenix Blaster. Is this the Beehive? Yeah, is this all one Beehive? Um, it's got like 30 base damage? Um, and I mean, it scales decently well. Um, I think this is all one Beehive. Is that a Mimic? That's a Mimic. Uh, but, like, tank OP. <laughs> yeah, this is all one beehive. God damn. Uh, get Fixed Boy inherits the big beehives from, um, the Drunk Seed, which is what we're on now. Gee, that's like the same size as the temple. Goddamn. Okay. Uh, let's get, uh, potions and stuff front. Uh, got me a hunter potion. I want, uh, hot lanterns. Uh, they didn't buff it in 1.4.4. They reworked it. The, I think it works out to on average be a little bit better, but it was not a straight buff. They reduced its firing speed um, and increased its damage. Might as well make a swiftness potion. Uh, hey, grab potions. Yeah, I mean, my Phoenix Blaster has, like, 50 base damage, and that's with a warding build. Uh, if I had a menacing build, it'd probably up, like, 60. Pretty sure it has the same base damage as the Onyx Blaster, for what it's worth. Or I think that was pre-buff, or pre-rework, rework, yeah. Uh... My house like an amoeba, it's a centipede. It's kind of amoeba like amoeba like though. Um okay. Uh you know what? I will take a hunter potion for leading her back. I think that would be useful. Um Travel Mist, Batwing, Light Boots, Cross Necklace. Magic Luminescence. Make that swap. And uh it was over here somewhere. Uh there? Yeah, there it is. That's not a very far trip. Oh, it was up there. Down here. I don't appreciate, uh... Just over there. I don't appreciate these angry choppers much. Yeah, uh, Plantera, as long as she doesn't have line of sight, will not shoot at you. That is, having blocks between you and her will prevent her from attacking. However, she does counterattack if she's hit, even if she doesn't have line of sight. Uh, but for leading her back, as long as you keep blocks between you and her, she won't, uh, 
She won't attack you. And yeah, she does not have very much HP. I think she ties Skeletron Prime's head. Um, in HP value. And I'll have to check my... Uh... Yeah, I think Crystal's better than I called you. Yeah, with food buff, I go up to... Oh, wait. I guess I had food buff when it was 49. I should have paid attention. I kind of just walked on a hook there. Yeah, this layer of honey down here serves several purposes. Firstly, it prevents her hooks from being on the ground that I'm walking on. Since I'm walking on a surface they can't latch to. See how they're going on the blocks underneath it. Secondly, when she starts shooting out these balls in her second phase, like right now, they get caught in the honey and they bounce around and they don't really do anything. Because um, they get slowed down immensely. Um, and thirdly, if I do get hit, I can just dip around in it and I won't uh, take very much damage. Because I'll regen. Once we hit phase two, this is actually kind of a small arena now that I look at it, but it'll be fine. We got vertical space to work with. Whoops, didn't mean to do that one. Gotta be careful of that one. Gotta make sure I jump when I'm sitting on the honey before I flip grab. The grab flipping's pretty unnecessary here. But, I mean, I took the grab potion, so I may as well. Oh, grab potion wore off. I may as well take another one. I don't know what else I'm going to use them on. Okay. Uh, Seedler... Drop anything down here? I don't think she did. I think I picked it up. Oh, I knew to put down the hot lantern. I guess I'm putting it down now. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we just go straight on to golem now. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and temple. Oh, I need to get my, uh, actually, there should be a, I don't think I looted the chest in here. Uh, maybe I did? Maybe there isn't a chest in there. Oh, it's raining! You gonna hoik out of the dungeon or kill him inside the temple? I'll probably hoik out since our Ravina's right there. Yeah. 
uh, I actually don't have uh, water walking anymore. Which is mildly inconvenient. Not a big deal. Uh, I'll probably make a, a small platform, though. Um, I don't need my magic luminescence anymore. Maybe here. Should be good. Plantera's a flower and flowers can be set on fire when Plantera walks through lava. Uh... Maybe she's just a really... Uh, fire-resistant plant. You know? Also, yeah, if you don't know how to hoik into the temple, uh, just do this. Hammer once. Hammer to have the corner there. And just spam flick. This is a very long walk, though. And this is a, a long way out of the temple. Which I hope uh, Golem won't despawn for, but... Whatever, we got nine batteries, it'll be fine. And then, um, after this, I suppose we'll probably do fish run. Um, and I could, uh, I think I may as well buy steampunk wings. I have the money. And I might not be able to reforge them to a great reforge, but I mean, it doesn't matter that much. And it's certainly easier than doing like the moons or something. And I'm not going to bank on getting fish on or empress wings. Hello, Mr. Golem. Oh, hang on. Hello, Mr. Golem. I don't like the... Also, another fun fact. Uh, Golem struggles immensely with honey. Um... God, he's gonna fucking despawn. Shit. Okay, I come up here. I didn't realize how big the hole down there was. I wanna bring him over to this right side. If you'd be so kind. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, no, I mean... Phoenix Blaster's fine for Duke, like I said. Uh, I'm gonna focus down his hands first. I'm gonna, uh, also... get rid of... the left half of these planter boxes. That way, uh, nothing can spawn over there. And we don't have to deal with enemies. Because right now we've gotta deal with a lot of enemies. As long as we get rid of those, then there'll be no valid blocks for them to spawn on. And we just have this uh, little arena here. Yeah, uh, if you just got, like, honey bombs, you can flood the bottom of your golem room. And he struggles a lot with that.
forgot how big Golem is. I'm so used to Legendary Golem. Uh, being tiny. Yeah, I'm just focusing down his fists because they're going to be a problem in his second phase if I don't. Um... Meteor bullet since they pierce. I don't need piercing. I want single target damage. I don't want to damage his core until his hands are dead because I don't want to have to deal with lasers while I'm trying to kill the hands. make Golem even more of a defenseless idiot. Look, it's hot. It's sticky. He can't fly. Uh, if you flood, like, I don't even have that much honey. If you have a lot of honey, like, Golem can't do shit. Uh, except, like, shoot lasers and fireballs. Um. Because you see we're still jumping out of it a bit here. Um. Okay, that's one hand down. Okay. And now we can actually kill him. Now, I don't entirely like my arena being set up this way because I normally go semicircles around Golem um, when he starts firing his lasers, and I can't really do that here because of the honey. Get up here. Okay, I got it. Hold on. Close this off. Uh, I don't really care that much, Gaming Crunch. Yeah, it's very helpful on, uh, get fixed point for the worthy. And when Golem's slow, it turns him even more pathetic. When he's fast, it... Okay, there we go. Let me switch back to Magic Luminescence. How did that the hornet spawn? That's weird. What block did that spawn on? Nine K. Personally, I think the end of Golem's first phase is the hardest part of the fight. Where he starts rapid fire spamming lasers like this. I find that more difficult than uh, the head in phase two. Not, not that either one is particularly difficult. Um,
Yeah, he's... He's having a lot of trouble down there. He's... He's having a lot of trouble down there. Bad lasers. Cut it out. Ah, oh. oh, he's dead. Oh. Golem can be easier average hard depending on how good you are at the game. I don't think he's ever really hard. Uh, uh, let's see. Maybe I'll get those beetle shells. Mm, this hatchet, shiny stone. Let me... I guess welcome to Duke Fish Run Arena. Maybe next. Will I beat Cultists today? Uh, probably. Let's see how long Fish Run takes. Yeah, Golem's easy to choke near the end, but I think the main reason I was getting hit there is because my arena was absolute shit. <laughs> that is not an ideal arena for Golem. Um, the amount of space that I had there, uh, at least I didn't give myself a great spot for dodging lasers near the end of his, uh, end of the fight. It was ideal for dodging the actual golem golem, but not the laser poke. If I had had a water walking potion, it would have solved that problem. Uh, shiny stone's worth keeping. Okay, and Torbal. Uh, Torbal. You sure might? No. If I wanted Shroomite, I would have to make a spot for a truffle, and that is something I am unwilling to do. Uh, I'm needing to be stuck on ammo. Uh, no damage has gone down a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, I'll probably switch to use an Ikor. And uh, let me think about this. Do I enjoy hell? Eh, not particularly. It's kind of a mid biome. Uh, pretty good win. We'll post golem now. Yo! Warding steampunk wings immediately. Uh. 
Okay, let me think about this. Uh, fish, Ron, fish, Ron, fishy, 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 fish, Ron. Okay. Uh, realistically, I'm not going to use beetle armor until maybe phase two. Phase one would probably be still doing this. Um, I am probably gonna need more ammo, and I think I'm going to use Iqua bullets due to fish Ron's defense until his last phase, at which point I'm gonna switch to crystal. Um, also because I think I have Ikor lying around, and I don't think I have crystals lying. Oh, I do have crystals lying around. Never mind, I'll probably make crystals. I thought I didn't have crystals lying around. Um, I'll probably make crystal bullets then. I feel like Beetle is a little underrated. Uh, who underrates it? I think Beetle was great. Um, it depends who you, who you ask, but... I mean, I think Beetle Armor is more convenient than it is a main like if i wanted the best tank build i could get i would go for uh like valhalla knight right but that's way too much fucking work getting valhalla knight stuff okay the centipede has eyes now uh okay we need to build a fish on arena so, it's a blink root. And let's see. Um, that ocean's fucked. This ocean is also fucked. Both of these oceans are fucked. Did I hit the damage drop off? I mean, I the Phoenix Blaster, if. I'm basically making the decision now of whether or not I want to focus damage or defense, and I think it's just a better play to focus defense. Um, I could make a reasonably effective weapon if I were to um, prioritize. Go all in on damage. But uh, the problem with that is going all in on damage late game as a ranger requires like scopes and fuck farming golem in the dungeon. I'm not doing that shit. Um, requires shroomite armor and fuck building a thing for a truffle. I'm not doing that shit. Um, I feel like those are the two main things. Yeah, I'll probably have to build something resembling an actual arena for the Moon Lord, though. Um... I hate farming scopes. I never use scopes. Because, like, yeah, you could spend that time farming golem and the dungeon to get a destroyer emblem, a sniper scope, and a recon scope. Or you could just beat the game in that same amount of time. It's probably faster.
use Queen Slime Mount for the third phase? Uh, no. I don't have the Queen Slime Mount. Nor do I want it. I mean, like, yeah, I could, or I could just, hear me out, dodge his third phase. Right? That was a wha wacky idea, but, like, you can, you can just dodge it. With, by, like, moving out of the way. I think Grab Potion works a lot better in his first two phases than his third phase. It can work in his third phase, but I think it's easier to get it to work in his first two phases. Uh, okay, potions. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer fight. Let's come prepared. Some shine potions. I don't think I want to spend my blink root on that. I only have one. Um, I mean that's fine. It's simple enough. Um, yeah, that should be fine. I would rather let me put some gnomes nearby. May as well, because I have a couple of them. Uh, other AOE buffs. Eh, I can't really think of any that I would want. Um, because I don't have pink gel. Uh, I don't think. Okay, uh, I would rather start the fight during the day, so let me start with making a fishing rod, and, um, going to a mushroom biome, or, like, cook, uh, I don't know, I'll have to think about it. Uh, probably just going down there is my best shot. I could get a guide to critter companionship, but I live on the edge. Is that a block there? I felt like I caught on something. Thankfully, truffle worms are very easy to find. Uh, where is he? Uh, I'll get a second truffle worm just for good measure. Because I'm here, and I might as well. I assume it would probably taste like truffles. Um, because it, it attracts Duke Fish Ron, right? And I feel like if it just tasted like a worm, why would he care? You were sleepy, you're here now, hey? Hey. hey. Uh, I'm gonna sleep till morning. I really should just move my bed back here. I need bullets too. Where's my arms dealer at? Uh, I 
Where is my arm stealer at? Is he on a floating island somewhere? Yeah, he is. No, that's a die crater. Is he here? Where is my arm stealer at? Sloppy? Sloppy? God damn it, he is up in a fucking floating island up there. Yeah, no, I don't I don't like sloppy. I don't well I don't like the slime name sloppy. Destroying the stream to sloppy. I like. No, I didn't. I'm not making it. I will not take a, a stance on my opinion on, on sloppy. I'm not gonna. Confirm nor deny. Uh, I, I'm just not going to to engage. Yeah, no. No thanks, buddy. I'll pass. Like he gets any, he's playing Terraria. Uh, have you seen how many people thirst over me? It's a horse, Ren. What the fuck do you mean bunny or a rat? It's a horse. It's very clearly a horse. That is a horse! No, what? That is very clearly... Okay. What is this? Okay, this one's even easier. It starts with a B. It's not a... No, it's not a middle finger. It's not a hat. Chicken house? No, it's a bumblebee. What the fuck? You call bu No, that is a bumblebee. The fuck do you mean I need building skills? I have building skills. You guys just can't recognize and understand art. I like that you just repeated the same thing you said, but then added Bismarck in the end to make sure that he knew you were talking about him. No, that's a bee. That's a bumblebee. It's more of a pigeon? No. 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 It's no. You're wrong.
Oat is subjective? Not my oat. Nothing subjective about it. It's incredible. That is a bumblebee. No. That is a bumblebee. Like, it, it just is. that. That's what bumblebees look like. It's an oh no, no. It's a bumblebee. That looks like a bee. Thank you. I'm not gonna read the rest of that sentence. When I built a spider house, and everyone said it looked like Mickey Mouse, it was. It did not look like Mickey Mouse. If it did, I'd get a copyright strike from Disney. What progress has been made so far? I will post call them. Uh, you can. You can both conf You can confirm it, you cannot deny it. See how this goes. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing how much those crystal bullets are hitting for. Nah. I didn't realize I was stepping on the uh, planter box there. Yeah, the reason I'm using Icor and not Crystal here is because Crystal falls off powered against enemies with high defense. And, um... Duke Fishron, especially in his first phase, has very high defense. Um, he has 50 defense, and I saw how much the crystal shards coming off were hitting for. They were hitting for, like, single digit damage. Um, and not every crystal bullet is going to hit with both fragments. And I feel like the flat, I think I core is, like, 10 extra damage per shot. Um, compared to crystal. Uh, 12 extra damage per shot. With my current buffs, at least. Um, and that's not counting crystals, fragments, but I think two shards... Both shards would have to hit for at least 6 damage, and they're not doing that, so... I think both performs, performs better here. And then I'm probably going to stick with Ikewar, because phase 2, I think I'm going to swap to Beetle. Uh, for insurance. Oh, that was a stutter. Damn.
Why would I pick the Phoenix Blaster of all weapons to do this challenge with when I can pick more popular weak weapons? What? What do you think the point of this challenge is? Let me ask that one. Why do you think I did this? Weapon like mini shark or something. But why would I. Why do you think I did this? Why do you think I'm doing this? The reason I'm doing this is because I like the Phoenix Blaster. It's my favorite weapon in the game. If I wanted to beat the game with a weak weapon, I would point you to the times that I had beaten the game with a copper short sword, and I had beaten the game with a flare gun. I'm just doing this because I like the Phoenix Blaster. How do you know it's my favorite weapon? Um, because every time I bring up the Phoenix Blaster, I mention that it's my favorite weapon in the game. strong point exactly i am big and strong i mean the phoenix blaster is big and the uh yes yeah sometimes challenges can just be fun i don't have to not every challenge has to be beating the game with fucking paper airplanes or lawnmowers or some shit um i can just go hey I like this weapon. I want to use it. Well, I think it's kind of silly to come in here and then assume that I picked the Phoenix Blaster because I thought it would be difficult and not because I thought it would be fun. And then work on that assumption to ask, like, why I would pick the Phoenix Blaster and not a weaker weapon. But yeah, just because I like it. I 
Okay, since Duke Fishron's defense dropped to zero in his last phase, uh, we will drop switch to Crystal for that one. Fifteen mm, K? Get uh yeah, there we go. One, one, two, one, two, three. Okay. One, one, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, three. One. One, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two. Three, one, oops, one, two, one, two, three, one, dead. I have to count out loud because I genuinely, like, constantly forget where I am in the cycle if I don't count. <laughs> That's like that time that I almost died when I was doing Kako Shorts or only fish runs because I just forgot how many... Uh... Yeah. Uh, Cultist is... Venom bullets or crystal bullets for Cultist? We'll have to check. Okay, um... Ugh. Is my build what I want it to be at for the Moon Lord? What is my strategy for actually avoiding the Moon Lord's healing? I have a Magic Mirror. Teleporting is an option. Asphalt is an option. Um... Truffle's an option if it's raining, but I can't bank on that. My fight's probably going to last too long for that. Um, hmm. I'm going to take a break for a sec. Uh, I'm going to the bathroom. Uh and consider what I want to do for the Moon Lord. Uh... So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute or two.
grab some uh, some gummy worms. On the way back. I fucking love gummy worms. Okay. I'm going to, um... I kind of want to try to kill the Empress. Take that BRB screen off. Uh... I think with a bit of effort, I can make that work. I'm also going to go ahead and get to 500 HP. It should be enough. And, uh, for... If I'm gonna fight the Empress, I'm gonna want Shroomite armor. Which means, uh... Getting a Truffle, which won't be too difficult. Um, but will require me to make a house down here. I could sell this truffle worm. Oh, I'm not gonna fight fish run again though. A lot of work. Okay, uh, dryad in here. Uh, if you didn't know, the Dryad in Mushroom Biome sells mushroom grass seeds. Uh, and that is the easiest way to get the stuff you need for a truffle. Because then you don't have to worry about waiting for it to grow. You can just buy a hundred. Find somewhere on the surface. Let's go over there. Uh, and then just plant a hundred of them. It's a full moon. I mean, I'm not going to get a celestial shell, so I'm not concerned with killing werewolves. And if I fight Empress, I'm probably going to want to use chlorophyte bullets. And I think what I'd probably do is sleep until it rains so I get the damage buff from the Shrimpy Truffle, and I can go ahead and use the Shrimpy Truffle to, um, to dodge easily. I think... My damage will be fine if I get Shroomite and have the Truffle damage buff. I hope so, at least. Okay, this should do it. Stop the 
building, but let's... Actually, I don't really need to. I can just make a house right here. Uh, do I have enough money? I should have, but I killed fish on, I think. Let me check to make sure I have enough money for an auto hammer. And I'll also need to check my supply of glowing mushrooms. Make sure I have enough of those. Uh, I think like 700 for a set of shumite armor, something like that. I forget exactly. It's valid. Yeah, it's valid. Okay. How many glowing mushrooms do I have? 222. Okay, we gotta get some. Uh, there's a mushroom biome there, and then further up is another one. You like Shumano, but you don't like the mechanic of standstill equal more damage. Yeah, um... I don't like Shumite's set bonus. Um... Outside of things like the old one's army or multiplayer. Um... For the vast majority of things, standing still gets you killed. Um... Especially on higher difficulties, and is not really something you want to do. But, for the old one's army, it's incredible. And for, um... For multiplayer, it's pretty decent. Especially with something homing like four or five bullets. Or you can just stay off screen and then shoot. Um, while somebody else takes the aggro. But yeah, um, if I was playing normally, I generally would not make Shroomite Armor. Um, I would probably just rock with Hollowed Armor for the end of the game. Um, or, uh, if I'm doing, like, Hardcore, I'd probably make, like, Beetle Shell. Foxy. This mushroom bomb was a lot bigger than I gave it credit for. I may as well catch this other truffle one. They're worth like six. Oh, okay. I guess not. What is that in slot one? That is a Mithril Sword. I have not used the Mithril Sword at all. However, it was a clever use of the Mithril that I had. An annoying Mithril Sword. that 363 okay we're most of the way there by the time the truffle spawns are probably enough does the otter hammer one platinum i forget i forget if it's one or two platinum i can afford it either way One platinum? Okay. That should be... Eight... Uh, 80 gold? 89 gold? 89 gold. Where's my bed? It's over here. Uh... I could... 
could... I want to buy some vials of venom to potentially make venom bullets with. Flooding Rome was one of the best pre-mech boss armors because the insane region is the first year of war, which is easier to find. Uh, it is quite good, yeah. Um, but like for this, I'm pretty sure I just use necro armor. I don't bother making any of the ore armors. If I continue using Brain of Confusion? Um, I don't care. I haven't killed the Brain of Cthulhu, so I don't... I don't feel like going over to do it either. Uh, but I mean, I could use it. Uh, let me... You... Is 750 exactly the right amount? I need 54. No! It's, um... Damn, I guess it's like 800 something. Okay. That's fine. We're four about short. Uh, 810? If I had 750 and that gave me 15, it's 15 per bow, and it's 54, 810 for an armor set? And these worms just will not leave me alone. Imagine playing without elevators everywhere. I never make elevators, God. Gun. Okay, and that takes us... When in stealth mode, up to 73. When unstealthed, the damage is... Um... Three higher. Which, uh... Is not very much. Because Shroom Might Armor is not very good. Oh shit, it's raining now. Fuck. Uh, yeah, but it's, uh, the defense is a bit better. Uh, but you also don't get Shadow, do shadow Dodge. Um, can I do that one more time? Do what one more time? Uh, Damn, I wish I had a, a lace wing. Okay, uh gonna make some claw bullets. Twenty two eighty, is that gonna be enough? I don't think it is. I'm gonna do a lot more bullets than that. Uh, so I don't think Empress is happening tonight during this rain. Um, I'll make some venom bullets. I'll use those for the cultist. Um, mining more claw fight. Would be the next step. Let me get you and you. This was probably just those two. Um, well, I guess I could. That's an idea. Hold on. Well, I will. 
I will. I haven't done this in a long time. A long, long time. Let's do some digging. How much money do I have? Let's do some digging. Oh, I don't want to use this water walking potion. I'd rather save it. That's a pretty underwhelming speed, but it's a lot better than my pickaxe axe. I just don't have very many mining buffs. Once nighttime hits, I'm gonna go show, be sure back to go, to go back to the hollow. God, I can't speak. Um, to catch a lace wing. Do I have a slice of cake? No, I don't. I haven't talked to the pouty girl during a pouty. About a lot of Discord? No, I don't have a lot of Discord. Nor do I want a lot of Discord. Do I cheese with nurse? No. Me put a beetle on. I mean, I'll use the nurse sometimes, but it's not a very common occurrence. Uh, and I usually don't bank my strategy on the nurse being present.
the only times that I might bank on the nurse is like during hardcore runs, just to be sure that I don't die, but... Realtarians use the wizard as a co-op partner in, bat in boss fights. Nah, man. Realtarians use the die trader. The die trader kicks ass. Uh, not much luck with uh, life, or life fruit still. What even is his attack? He swings his sword. I wish I had an ancient chisel. I mean, there's a lot of really great things I could have gotten from the the hard mode, or from the underground desert. But since this was a hard mode start and the underground desert is absolutely god awful, uh, I was not going down there for like a chisel or a bass statue or anything. I I know you can get it in the desert, but this game started in hard mode, and the hard mode underground desert sucks, uh, and I didn't want to go there. Catch a lace one. I started the game in hard mode. Do I have water or candle? Uh, yeah, this is a hard mode start one. Otherwise, it would have just been very disinteresting. But Duke Pet? I don't like the Duke Pet very much. It's... I don't know. I like the eyes. Yo! Rainbow Slime! I uh, just, I, uh, I, I do know the game very well, Muhammad. Uh, I, I do appreciate you trying to help, but I don't need tips. Am I excited for the LGBT water gun? I don't know what that means. I don't know anything about the next update. There's a lace wing. I also don't want to know anything about the new update. I just want to play the update, man. Uh, my mining speed's going to go down a bit, but whatever. It's just a new shame. You didn't have to tell me. Like, you could have just not... When I said, like, I don't want to know about it, you could have been like, oh, cool, I won't talk about it then. Instead of going, oh, yeah, but this is what it is, though. I, I know you said you didn't want to know about it, but this is... This is me telling you more about it. Yeah. 
you know, maybe. to the no biome now. God, I hate breaking ice at high speeds. Just sounds awful. Wrong with high speed ice breaking, it makes a really annoying noise. Alright, this must be where all the life fruits at. Now we're back to slow speeds. And what do I need? Five. I need two more after this one. Oh wait, this is a hollow biome too. Still don't have much luck with life fruit. Life fruit. There's a point where we were getting a good amount, but then. Oh, jeez. That was. Uh, not how I was expecting it to play out. I guess I thought I was mining faster than I was. Okay, well, two more life fruit. Not too much. I remember there was, um, actually some life fruit, uh, over here, I think. I think we're detecting it from the surface. All right. Yes. And there's another light fruit. There it is. Okay, that'll be the last one. Okay. And now we're done with the digging cloth. We can go ahead and shimmer it. Let me uh, get some of this stuff out of here. I don't need the sawtooth shark anymore. Uh, yeah. Let's get our Shumite armor back. Yo, Gold Fog! Gold Fog? 
God fuck. No, God fuck. God fuck. Okay, and this will probably be my last visit to the chamber. Um, there's much else I'd want to do there. With any luck, I'll be able to get a sewing insignia. Um, and then that would be my my means of dodging the Moon Lord. Because um, I think. Flying diagonally up. Well, no, I'd still need to dodge the heal. Although I might not actually need to, depending on. I'll see what plays out. I do get a 10% higher crit chance, though, on top of the slight damage boost. That's the bigger, more meaningful impact there. Do I have a Golden Delight in one of these chests already? No. I had one at some point, I think, but I must have eaten it. Um, okay. Uh, I should have my potions for the Empress already. Let me get those out. Iron Skin. Regen. I suppose Shine couldn't hurt. And hunter just in case a wyvern shows up or something um i'm gonna want four fight bullets which i should be able to make plenty of i think five thousand should be enough for the empress and if not oh well i guess we're just shooting it with like more bullets um My accessories could be tweaked to give me more damage. Um, if it was nighttime, I'd move the guide in and kill the wall of flesh again to get an Avenger emblem. But um, oh well. I could uh, use a Moonstone though, uh, because that's a ten percent damage buff. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna bother with reforging it because it's kind of expensive. But um, I'll use a Moonstone. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Uh, and at this point, I want to sleep until it starts raining. I could also... Maybe I will. If I, um... Damn, she's not selling her rod. Well, no, I'll check. I don't. I don't think I'll need to, but I will consider if we get close. But like, uh, the damage is a little bit too low for the Empress. I could fish up like Rage and Wrath potions and whatnot, and that would give me another little buff. Um, but for now, we're just gonna sleep until it rains. I don't need the rain to kill the Empress, um, but I have a feeling it would be awkward damage-wise if I didn't, which is why I'm keen on having it. But I might be wrong. I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure how effective this is going to be. 
so I guess we'll find out. It'll be a good test for what our, our, our damage is looking like. And depending on how good it is, I may just shroom my armor with the Moonlord. Um, I'll have to see how things feel. It is a stinky stink bug day. But I don't really care too much. It's not very much I need stinky stink bugs for. I do wish there was a way to force rain to happen. The best you can do is just killing some ladybugs. Unfortunately, it was raining yesterday, and it would have been great. But, uh, the timing just didn't pan out. Would be a cool and useful feature if Duke Fisher activated rain in his fast last phase. That could be cool, yeah. I wish I had a sundial. Uh, I'm kind of bored of this already. If it doesn't rain this coming day, I'm just going to summon her and fight her. I don't care. We've got a workable arena here. I'm impatient. And I also want to test and get a feel for the fight, how much damage we have and whatnot. To see if this is even a, a reasonable endeavor. Rain, 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 rain. Rain, rain, rain. What's with the house? Oh, that's a that's a horse. Did you misspell it? I I, I could understand, you know, you and O are kind of in well, they're not really close to each other at all on the keyboard. But no, that's a that's a horse. You meant house looks like a mouse? No, no, no. It's a horse. It's a horse. It's a horse. What is the traveling merchant going to sell that I would even... Horse, house, mouse, same thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't care. Oh, you know what I should do? Is I should, uh... Get some hot lanterns up here. There are already hot lanterns here, but I can put more. 
I, my channel's be more popular because of things like my skill at the game. Thank you. Okay. Uh, nine minutes? I don't think it's going to rain in nine minutes, but uh, if it does, it'd be fortunate. Because if not, we're just doing this uh, on foot. Which probably isn't going to go well, but we can at least get a test for our damage. I'll, uh, just in case things go south, move the nurse in here. Wouldn't hurt to have her there for insurance. How many kill Moon Lord? Ah, uh, with a Phoenix Blaster. Yeah, no shot of rain. Yeah, let's uh let's see how our damage is. You in the arena? I'm not even sure if I'm gonna make an arena. If I kill the Empress, I probably won't. Actually, I will make that as well. Hmm. Cutting it close. Cutting it close, but I think the damage will be there. I would really appreciate the 15% damage from the, uh, the truffle, though. Oh yeah, no, we'll have the damage. No problem at all. Hm. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I think... I can probably just walk up to the Moon Lord and just kill him. Oh. I'll probably make an arena just in case I have to worry about his healing, but I don't think I will. Um, I think it'll play out fine. And that'll probably just be like a small bridge of asphalt with a bed at the end that I can recall back to. Actually, is my damage going to be fine? We might be cutting it really close now that I look at it. I think she's probably gonna die around like 3 or 4 a.m. 
I wonder what my favorite weapon is. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of ammo, too. That's no problem. Um... Noon is the halfway point through the night, so if we get out of phase two by noon, that'll be an indication that we're on track. And if not, I mean, we can potentially survive daytime for a little bit, but I'm not really equipped to dodge her for an extended period of time during the day. Uh, this arena is not set up for that, nor is my uh, equipment, so I'd rather avoid having to do that if, if possible. Um... Her defense is going to go up a little bit in phase 2, though, which means our defense damage is going to go down a little bit. About 5 damage a shot. But I think she also dashes less in phase 2, and the dashes are the points in time where I can't damage her. Um... Can I show that phase 2 here? I don't like where I'm positioned right now. I don't like this very much at all. Not a big fan of my horizontal mobility here. Uh, it's really lacking. Okay. I guess I'll just have to do that. Gonna have to use more vertical mobility to make up for my lack of horizontal mobility. That was the attack that was giving me a lot of trouble when I was doing this on a dance pad, I remember. Okay. Up. Over. Down. And then over. Jet. Okay. Not ideal. Okay. Let's... Hello. I don't like... Yeah, I don't like this arena that I have right now. Uh, it's really not ideal for phase two. Which is inconvenient. I don't have great horizontal mobility, and that's making it rather awkward trying to avoid some of those attacks. Uh, which is fine. I think what I'll do is go catch more lace winds, because we can't right now. Uh, and I'll give it one more shot, but I think I will wait for rain, both for damage reasons and just ease of dodging reasons. Uh... Hey, Victoria. I should probably get... Let me make a water candle. I have a crystal ball, and I should have... yeah. Uh... Platinum candle... Ocean... Oh wait, no, I need to bring the uh, crystal ball over there. Alright, uh, thanks Victoria. And yeah, we got plenty of ammo. That's not a concern. Uh, I guess I break the pylon. Okay, that should work well enough.
Sick crib, thank you. I don't like sleeping for rain though. It's really annoying. I don't like building arenas either. That's more work than I feel like doing. Yeah, I think... With Insignia, I could probably just go for a damage build on Moonlord. Um, and if I'm dealing 124,000 damage to the Empress of Light in one night... My damage on the Moon Lord would be pretty similar, and it'd probably take 20 minutes to kill him, which is not that long. Um, and if I have an Insignia, I should be able to dodge all his attacks pretty easily. And worst case scenario, you would just slap on Beetle Armor. Um, and that damage pacing should be fine for killing leeches that spawn... I guess what, they have 400 HP? And I could even go to better bullets for the Moon Lord, too. Uh, let me check. I think the 400. Moon Claw, yeah, 400 with no defense, right? Yeah, with no defense. I think I remember being killable with a Phoenix Blaster. Maybe I was using Luminite Bullet when I did that, though. Um, but then, worst case scenario, I could just have an Asphalt Bridge and run along that, and then recall back when the time comes. Okay, let's catch some Lace Wings. Okay, as well. And I really only need one, but I may as well catch a couple. Because I am here. And the opportunities to catch them uh, require several minutes of waiting if I don't do anything. I could also go get an Avenger Emblem. I'd like you to move the guide uh, back to the underworld. And that'd give me another 12% damage. It's pretty solid. But hopefully, I can get a lace ring first. A second one. Maybe we'll only get one lace ring. Not looking very promising for a second.
Hmm. Okay, we got a minute. We'll see if it happens. Well, at least we got the one lace wing. Play out the last couple seconds, just in case. No, okay, no luck. Oh well. I'll have to go move the guide back into hell. And then summon the wall again, so we can get an Avenger Emblem. Exploding bullets should be fine. That'll get the job done. Uh, I thought that was a loon wizard at first. Now it's a clinger. We aren't nearly as much of an obstacle as they are uh, supposed to appear. It really wants using the uh Okay. Ah, uh, get out. Oh, I guess I could sell them for money. Uh yeah, and then one soul of might, one soul of sight, one soul of fight. Is it more than one? So five? Maybe one's for the pickaxe axe, and five is for the emblem. Okay, it is five. Okay, um, then I'll probably make that swap when the time comes. May as well reforge it. And now we just sleep until it rains. And then once it rains, we do the Empress. Shouldn't I build a bigger arena? No, I don't need an arena. I'm just going to use the truffle when it rains. You don't need an arena for that. 
And that's why we're waiting for the rain. Which I think we have like a 20% a chance every about four and a half minutes for it to rain. That's about a 20% chance each day. Which isn't terrible odds. I am running a little bit more low on money though. Um which the only thing I would want money for after this would I think be reforging the soaring insignia. Um so we may not be able to get too much of that done. Today is not looking like a very rain promising day, all things considered, unfortunately. I'm gonna look up exactly how, how rain works, because I always forget. Not that I can do anything to change it, unless I happen to get a windy day and there's some ladybugs. Um, but I am interested, because I always forget how, how the raining works. Terraria, rain. For the following game day, the chance of rain can be anywhere between 18.2 and 25%. Uh, rain usually occurs every four to five in-game days. Uh, and rain events last for 24 in-game hours, 24 minutes. Which should mean that as long as we get rain, it should last long enough um, for the whole night. Um... Actual chances fluctuate irregularly between 1 and 475.2 thousand and oh, 475,200 and 345,600 per game tick. I guess it would be awkward if it started raining at night. I'm doing pretty well, Bismarck. What's left to do? Uh, right now I'm, I'm working on the Empress, and then after that it's just the Cultist and the Moon Lord. And for the Empress, I'm just waiting for it to rain so I can use the Truffle. I mean, at this point, I could just... I have a Pouty Girl. I could get water and just fill bubble blocks with water, but I don't know. I'm lazy. And let's see if it rains today. I think statistically, I would expect it to rain this coming day. Uh, how much HP do I have IRL? Uh, seven. Is that my max? Why do you want to know? It's private information. Rain, 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 rain.
Does sleeping even increase my odds of rain? Hold on. Oh. Okay, it's raining. Why not build a bigger arena? Because I don't need to. Okay. So it should last for 24 in-game hours, which is 24 minutes. So it should last until about 7 a.m. the coming day. Which includes the entire night, which will be enough time for the Empress of Light. And... One of the big reasons I wanted to do this is because the cute fish run, when wet or when you're below half HP, gives you a 15% damage buff. Uh, and is the only mount to do so. And so because we were cutting it kind of close with time, based on our DPS, um, I want that extra bit of damage. I'll probably want to take her a bit to the right, to that open area there, away from these trees, because I don't want to get caught on the trees. like that stutter. Our damage is a lot better with the Avenger Emblem and the Truffle buff. We'll definitely have her dead by, um, by morning. Ooh, Falling Star almost hit her. And yet, yeah, if we deal damage at this rate to the Moon Lord, like will be fine. Um... The Moon Lord also is probably easier to hit. So I could potentially swap to bullets that deal more damage. Uh, you're wrong, Bismarck. You're objectively wrong. That's factually incorrect information. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're just a bean man. That's what you are. Yeah, you heard me. He's a bean man. 
Hey, Butters. What is that? You never heard that before? You never called somebody a bean man? Or maybe you want to do this one? I like the Phoenix Blaster. Wow, game's a fucking liar, by the way. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate the wiki giving me just completely incorrect information. I really don't. That was not... That was not 24 in-game minutes. I never answered your DM a while ago. I don't even remember what you sent me. Cool, appreciate it. Really appreciate that. Do I walk half HP strats? I think I do. That'll Buff at half HP. Okay. That was disorienting. Oh, uh, not particularly, no. I'm not really that interested in that. Okay. Wow, that did way more damage than I thought it would. Fuck. That's really annoying. I was trying to keep myself low on HP to activate the Truffle's uh, speed buff, and it was working fine. I just thought that did way less damage than that number. Okay. I were to if I just ditch these and play the no regen game I can keep myself low on HP well I did wait for a rainstorm except the rainstorm decided to end in the middle of the night um I don't know how long rainstorms actually last, but the information on the wiki is certainly not correct. Do I have the party goal? I do. I could make bubble blocks. I don't feel like it. Oh, never mind. It's just the fandom wiki being shit, because that was the first one that popped up. 8 to 61.5 in game hours. Whatever. Yeah, I know that, TJ. It's just...
the annoying thing of whenever you look something up, it's always the first wiki that pops up. Which is annoying. Uh, I can probably work half HP strats fine. I just didn't realize her dashing into me would hit me that much. Um, would hurt me that much, rather. Because uh, with a full speed truffle, it's very easy to not get hit. Which, I mean, if it was raining, I could just do it during the day. But that's more risk than I would like to take. Um, I also wouldn't mind actually being able to get more than one lace wing per night. That would be ideal. Because the past two times I've tried to do this, it's only given me a single lace wing, which is not the amount of lace wings that I would like to have. I would like to have multiple lace wings. That way, every time it happens, I don't have to spend two days between fighting because I have to spend a day waiting for uh, a lace wing. Why am I bothering with Empress? Because I want to fight the Empress. The answer is because I want to. I'm, I can just, like, I'm just playing the game. I mean, the insignia is nice, but I just want to kill the Empress. Just, I just want to do that. Why would I not do it? I mean, I can. It's very violent of me. So, I don't care. I thought that was a lace wing at first, because the uh, coins on the demon eye. Oh, I need to react to my water candle. Let me mine this out so I can kill the things over here and open up spawn slots. Did I see a lace one? Or is that a gnome? I thought something showed up on the real creature thing, I think. Boy, I sure hope I get, like, a single lace wing over the span of the entire night. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, I'll we'll try for a second one. Then some heal. Okay. There we go. Now we're actually getting some good RNG. Yeah, I, um... I don't know that sleeping actually increases the odds of rain based on the, um way that I saw it described on the on the wiki um because if it if there's a chance pro tick of rain beginning why am I not getting battle potion because I don't have rotten chunks or vertebrate to craft battle potions with and it also doesn't matter because I've been getting lace wings in sufficient quantities without it with just the water candle Two lace wings is a good haul. Yeah, so keep in mind that her uh, dash attack does uh, fuck you amounts of damage, apparently. Uh, next last was Daytime Empress. I mean, I could, but I don't have a setup for it, and I don't feel like making a setup for it. I'm pretty sure I have done that before. I don't know if it's been on stream, but... Okay. And now, I will try again to sleep for a rainstorm. And hopefully, this time, it doesn't just end in the middle of the fight. That would be ideal. The dash caught you off guard and hardcore and you died. Yeah, it's a deceptively damaging attack because the rest of her attacks are significantly less damaging than the dash. Well, uh, let's see. I'm down to just this night try a um just managing keeping myself below half HP even if it doesn't rain because I have two lace wings and that was it was working out fine I just have to acknowledge the amount of damage that she does there I'm looking for hard core in hard core you mean hard mode just finished building a Plantera Arena and the Destroyer Star Cannon she saw me do. Any other prep you'd recommend? Uh, getting Pylon set up. Uh, depending on how... I just want to fight the Empress, Spooku. Depending on how cautious you want to be, you could also build like a Life Fruit Foam. Um, which would prevent you from having to go into the underground jungle to get Life Fruit. Um... I'd also make sure you found, like, the temple and Shemu and things like that. Um, and if you have a Shulk statue, I think foaming Shulk statue for Shulk fins to get hunter potions can be a good play. Because when mining, particularly in the underground jungle, having hunter potions is very helpful for not getting killed by things. I wish I had a way to damage myself. Like if I had a rod of discord, that would be ideal. Not for the rod of discord being the rod of discord, but because you can damage yourself with the rod of discord and keep yourself below half HP easily. Doubt traps? I can't have doubt traps going in mid-air easily. It'd be pretty awkward. And they're also less on a whim. 
Uh, yeah, I'll just have to... Yeah, like ideally like the 1 to 200 HP range is where I want to be. I don't want to get too low because then I might be in one shot range if I get down to like double digits. Especially low double digits, but I don't want to be too high because then I won't get the truffle buff. Um, I don't want the charm of myths and is it? Fuck. The moonstone does give me a damage buff. But it also gives me... The eye is going to do one damage a hit to me. It gives me a damage buff, but it also gives me a life regen buff. As does pumpkin pie. I think I just bite the bullet with those ones. Because I think the damage buff is worth it. One more. There we go. Like, the rate we're regening HP is low enough that, like, I can maintain this for quite a while. And I don't have to get hit very frequently at all. And I think her least damaging attack is the telegraphed sword attack, where it puts the lasers on screen. So that's the one that I'm going to try to get hit by. The flare attack might also be kind of weak. I'll let this hit me. Okay, that one's pretty weak. Yeah, we can work with that. Are gnomes worth placing on the arena for luck damage boost? I mean, if you have them, I guess. Oh, falling star hitter? But I would not go out of my way to get gnomes to put them around the arena for the luck damage boost. Biome Torches do give luck, but Biome Torch luck does not apply on the surface. Those only apply underground. You need to hold Biome Torches for the Torch luck to apply on the surface. Okay, those do about 100. So it looks like the Flares are the least damaging attack. That's good to know. Bone Torch, it wouldn't do anything. Like, above zero elevation, placed torches do not affect luck. You need to hold a torch for the torch to affect luck if you are above zero elevation. As long as I don't get caught in anything, I think we should be good. Damn it, I wanted 
about to hit me. Let this hit me. Okay. Over. And loop. Yo, another star hitter. Damn. We are just getting all of the falling star luck. Ladybugs. Touching a natural ladybug spawn will give you luck. Um, that includes catching it. Uh, if the ladybug... Uh, is one that you placed, it does not give you luck. It has to be one that... One that spawns naturally. Uh, however, killing a ladybug, regardless of whether it's natural or not, will decrease your luck. That includes using it as bait, but I don't think includes using it in a cooking recipe if it's a golden ladybug. one. I'll pop a heal. I think I'll pop a heal here. And then for the sake of safety. There's either gnomes or luck potions. Uh, you can also get coin luck by throwing coins into the shimmer. Uh, one platinum coin maxes out your coin luck. Um, that's a pretty easily obtained source of luck. Okay, so half HP strats work fine. I mean... It's a little bit of managing, but if you can do Daytime Empress, you can do keeping yourself below half HP Empress. Uh, you could... The closest you can do with that is if you shimmer a pink pearl, you get a galaxy pearl, which increases your luck permanently. It's not a very large amount that it increases it by. God damn it. I mean, they're nice, but they're not reforged. Yeah. Uh, boots can go. I don't need boots anymore. I don't have money is the problem. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the moonstone. Don't need that. Uh, I don't need magic luminescence. I think this is fast enough that I can avoid the Moon Lord's tongue just by doing this. Like, the speed that I'm ascending at, I think, is fast enough to do that. And especially if I put a balloon on on top of it. That is a really fast ascension speed. So I think I'm gonna just try the Moon Lord Arena list. Banking on the Soaring Insignia, and I'm undecided if I'm going to switch to Beetle or not. I, I probably will, ultimately. Um, but in the meantime, uh, 
I need money. So let me... Let me get some money. Because I want to reforge some of this stuff. Uh, okay, don't need an Eventide. Uh, I don't need Hollowed Armor anymore, either. Uh, and yeah, I'll get rid of the Steampunk links. Why Sword in Hopper? Uh, it was a joke. Uh, we got two Platinum out of it. Uh, it can do better than Garden. I'd like at least Armoured. Okay, I can work with Armoured. And boy, you are an expensive reforge. Give me something, please. I'm going to run out of money. Goading, I guess I can work with. And let me try. Okay. Okay. Uh... Cultist. Cultist. I think I'm going to use Venom Bullets for Cultist. And then failing that, Ikor, because the next highest base damage that I got. Um, let me go make sure my arena is prepared for the Cultist. Um, the pillars are going to suck. Stardust and Vortex will not be that bad. Solo and Nebula are going to fucking suck. Um, we got a minute before we're at that. Um, let me grab Obsidian Skins just in case. Uh, and I don't need buffs for the cultist. It's the cultist. Do I have an arena? Mm, I, oh, but this is... I remember this arena. Fuck. We're gonna have to, like, deal with wyverns. Yeah, that's annoying. Because the, uh, the height here is high enough that um, wyverns will show up. Let me extend this a bit. Doesn't have to be too much, but I think a bit would be a good idea. Yeah. I see ya. Whatever, I think that's enough. Oh! You are up there. I didn't realize that was a... I didn't realize that was possible. Okay. They were just chilling on the roof. Good luck. I mean, it's the cultist. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's what comes after the cultist that I'm not keen on. Right, get your ass up here, boy. Fire, ice, lightning. Fire. Ice. Summon. I will drink one. 
And since I have pumpkins, I may as well eat one. Lightning. Fire. Ice. Summon. Down there. Fire. Ice. Cultist, one of the few bosses I can kind of take advantage of Shroomite's armor set on. God, that 100 damage Phoenix Blaster shot not even on a crit? That is sexy. It's 12 p.m. and you need to sleep? I, I don't know what to tell you. Sleep? I assume you mean 12 a.m. Yo, a pinky. Two pinkies, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, this entire arena is in Wyvern territory. Uh... Yo, chicken nugget. Which is a little bit awkward. Okay, and now we're at phase two, cultist. Seven attack chain? Six. Six and then the last one's a summon. Okay. Six attacks and then a summon. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And then he summons. Two, three, four, five. The last attack is always either lightning or the black ball attack. It's typically lightning, but sometimes he switches it up. So you can't always rely on what attack he's doing to tell you when the chain enters. Um, 
as he does mix up in, in mix ups in this phase. Well, why can I catch light with venom? Why can I inflict venom on the fucking magic light attack that he shoots? My poison is so strong, it literally poisons fucking light. Also, fun fact, uh, those purple ball attacks, the, the Ancient Doom, uh, those things do a colossal, absolute fuck ton of damage. Um, they are one of the few attacks that scale non-linearly on Expert and Master Mode. Um, they do obscene amounts of damage on, on Master And it's specifically after they explode, when they're still in the charging up phase and you can kill them, they're not very dangerous. But, um, after they pop, they... I forget exactly how much, but it's entirely possible they might, like, one-shot me. <laughs> At least if I'm a little bit wounded. hundred damage yeah with some bad ONG um, that's not quite a one-shot um, but yeah they hit really hard I remember doing multiplayer a ton of people died like at the same time to uh, a bunch of them oh okay and they despawn when he dies that's interesting Okay, um, Stardust is probably pillow number one that we do. Uh, it's either Stardust or Vortex, and they're going to work out the same way. Um, we're just going to trap the respawning enemies away from the spawning points, and then just farm a hundred of them. Not the Twink Poppers. I need a, a cell. That's the other world pillar music. Uh, oh, not a fucking Milky Way Weaver. Dude, cell, please. Okay, there we go. Two cells. I can deal with that. We'll need to get rid of the Milky Way Weavers, though. That, I hope they despawn. They are not despawning. Oh, that's right. These motherfuckers. They spawn more enemies. They spawn more fucking Milky Way Weavers. Who 
Whose idea was this? Okay. I knew they spawned other enemies. I didn't think they spawned more Milky Way Weavers. That just makes them, like, way more annoying versions of Stardust Cells. Goddamn. Good to know, I guess. If you see a Milky Way Weaver just, Weaver, just instantly focus it down, or else it's going to multiply into four, and then all of them are going to start spawning other enemies, too. And I mean, with a normal weapon, it's not that bad, because you deal actual damage, and they just die. Um, this looks incredibly painful. Nah, it's not that bad. Uh, but given my lack of damage, it's a little bit difficult to kill the Milky Way Weavers in time. Two of them, instantly. Do we- four- Okay. <laughs> that was an abrupt music end. I think the Milky Way Weavers are gone. I can't do it up here though because the um I'm too high up. Let me come down here. Can the cell follow me down here? Should be able to. Come on, face through the block. I know you can. Here, let me. There we go. Oh, you are a quick, quick boy. Yes, you are. Trapping the cell is not easy. Okay, there we go. The cell has been contained. And now we're going to make a perimeter around the cell that the baby cells are going to go in. And I'm also going to double up thickness of this. Okay, it's been contained. Let's make a third layer just in case. Wait, that's not exploding bullets. Okay, those two immediately breached containment. Well. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's fine. We're just... It's a work in progress. We just have to... Take them one at a time, wipe them out. I we'll need to just do a better job containing them. Okay. Wiped out that one. That's a lot of cells. Okay, 
That one's out. Keep breaching containment. The mini cells don't count towards the um maybe I give them more space in here so they don't clip into the walls immediately. Maybe that'll do it. Let's see. fucking clip into the walls. Whatever. Now, if I just do this, I think. Because then they clip through there and I can just shoot them. And eradicate them before they can... Okay, that works. Sell cheese moment. Yeah, and remember, this is the easy pillar. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. If they picked up my money, we should be fine. I should have just ran away there, but I thought I could I could contain them. Uh I don't think they did pick up the money, they're just gonna despawn. It's annoying. Well, we made a lot of progress. We did kill a lot of the, the pillar. And thankfully, alien queens are much easier to farm than, um... Hey, uh, welcome, treetop. Much easier than, than the cells. Uh, but let's check, though. Make sure they despawned. Oh, wait, no. Ooh, ooh, he's still here. He's not contained. But... We can lead him in. Yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, 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 Want them escaping out here. The strategy we had was working fine, but this here was the weak link. So if I build something similar, with no other place for them to escape to, then this should work. You're slightly confused on what I'm doing? I am doing the Stardust uh, Pillar. God damn it. They escaped. Um, specifically, it's very difficult for me to deal with the pillar where it actually is. So what I'm doing instead is leading and trapping the starter cells elsewhere and then killing them in a place where I can deal with them safely. Uh, and this prevents... It seems like cells preferentially clip upwards or something, or maybe they fly up. Um, get the star cell banner now, it's a big help. Uh, to deal with the Stardust Pillar. Because you see how the red lasers are still flying back? That's because things still count for killing, being killed towards the pillar, even if they're not near the pillar. 
Um, so by leading them out like this, these motherfuckers. These cells just do not want to cooperate, though. Whatever. I mean, this works fine. I can just do this if you guys don't want to come down here. This probably looks better, honestly. Like, way better. Why was I doing this the whole time? I'm not even sure what to call what I've done here. But it works very well. That should be all the cells now. How many hours do I have on Terraria? Uh, like 4,000. Let me get, uh... Obtain the children. Actually, no, fuck that. I'm out. Hey, leave me- No, go away. Stop following me. Pro tip, um, if you're fighting the pillars and you're at the point of actually killing the pillar, enemies in the pillars still need blocks to spawn on. Um, with I think the exception of the vortex pillar. Um, and if you are up in midair, like this, but still within the pillar's range, if you go too high up, then the pillar's range ends and wyverns and harpies can spawn. But if you're below where wyverns and harpies can spawn, but well above the ground, which is where enemies spawn, then you can just float in the air and shoot downward and uh, enemies can't spawn to attack you. It's dealing a lot more damage than you thought it'd be dealing. Uh, Phoenix Blaster is a good weapon. Uh, without Shroomite Stealth, we're at 54 base damage. Uh, with Shroomite Stealth, I think it's like 78? Yeah, 78. Uh, and this is with a, a defensive build. This is not an offensive build. Okay, Vortex Pillars next. Uh, what's it over here? Conveniently right by the truffle. Uh, so Vortex Pillar. Alien Queens. Oh, what? Oh, daytime is... Okay, yeah. Alien Queens are what you want with the Vortex Pillar. Um... Alien queens, when killed, drop alien lover that mature into alien hornets, which then turn into more alien queens. Um, there's an alien hornet. That's going to turn into a queen. And so by taking a queen and killing it, uh, you can farm the lover that they drop, and therefore queens, um, as they spawn. They're a little bit tricky to trap. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build a wall, and then I'm going to get it to run inside, and then from below I'm going to block it. Hey, get back here. You got to be careful they don't run away, because pillow enemies despawn very quickly. I think it's four blocks high. That's what we need. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I think I picked up a coin. Uh... 
Vortex can be cheese by literally digging a hole. Yeah, but I like doing it this way. Also, I imagine that's something that they might change. Vortex's ability to be cheesed by digging a hole. This is not something that I feel like they would change. I could see them nerfing it so that that... Fuck Storm Divers. By the way. They're one of the worst enemies in the game. I'm just gonna... Well, they buffed Storm Divers in 1.4.4 to make them just miserable. And they're awful. Um, so whatever. Damn it. Like I said, uh, pillow enemies despawn extremely quickly. That, like, brief second that the alien queen was off screen, off screen was enough for it to despawn. Like, the moment they leave the screen, they despawn. In a lot of cases. What was the buff? I don't remember exactly. I mean, they made them faster and more accurate and, like, just made them better. I don't... I don't remember exactly what they did, but... They basically nerfed the two pillars that were miserable... Uh, Solo and Nebula, and then made the two pillars that were actually kind of fun miserable. <laughs> and that summarizes the 1.4.4 pillar changes. But, like, you can't deal with Storm Divers while also keeping Alien Queens alive, because you have to move around a bunch up and down, but then by doing that, it despawns the Queens. And yes, you can just dig a hole, and that works fine. But I want to show this off, because I like this. But yeah, they made Stardust a lot more annoying, because they gave Milky Way Weavers the ability to summon enemies. Um, and I think made them a lot faster, too. Uh... Okay, there we go. You just realized the title? Uh, what about it? Hey, come Why is there a fucking storm diver here? Why do you not get stun locked? Whoa, come on. Get back here. God damn it. There we go. Okay. Yes, now we want to trap the queen. Like so. The queens need a bit of space to mature. Uh, so you can't put them in a tiny box. They need to have a little bit of room to grow. You gotta practice good husbandry uh, for your animals. And then, when she dies, she pops into a bunch of alien lover. You gotta be careful not to kill the lover. The lover also don't count towards the pillar. 
and then she goes into Hornets, and then a couple seconds later. Oh, they might not have enough space. You guys want more space? Okay. There we go. They grow into uh, queens again, and then the cycle continues. I think I'm going to do it on the ground here. Alien queens are saint. Yeah, this is a, a neat little way of doing the uh, doing the pillar. I think they want horizontal space, maybe? They are growing. They're just growing slowly. They normally grow faster than that, I think. Try giving them some horizontal space. What's the strategy for Solo and Nebula? Cry. That's the strategy. Nebula is awful, yeah. And, uh, there's not, like, a whole lot I can do to make it easier. I mean, I know there are cheese strategies for Nebula, but I'm not... You guys want to grow up? Is it... They're taking a long time to grow up. They want more space? Try giving him a little more space. They need food and water. That should be plenty of space. Relaxing wasp farming stream. God, I fucking hate wasps. Because wasps, like, they come into your house, they steal your... Um... They steal your wood, and then they make a house. And that's, that's what wasps do. And then they sit there and they just like fly around and they like bite you. I see it, treetop. Treetop, hope you feel better. Yeah, we're getting through the pillow fairly easily here. Um, and honestly, solo might be worse than. Nebula. His fucking Horites. Baltipedes.
yeah, it's really fun fighting the Vortex Pillow because you get these massive, like, armies of queens, like 40 or 50 of them, um, a lot of the times. And, I don't know, that's just really fun. We're, uh, most of the way there. Um, I think we're at, like, 70 or 80 kills between the, uh, Queens and Hornets. Come on. Maybe it's based on me being... I don't know. Queens and Hornets do have a fuck ton of HP, though, which is annoying. Queens have 3,000 apiece, which is a lot. That's 50 queens. Okay, that should be enough. I'll kill one more just to make sure. If you open your minimap, you can just look because it's relative to where you are, and then you just point at and you shoot. This even works for like the solar pillar and crawltipedes, but you have to be careful because oh, falling star is gonna hit it. Yo, that was like three thousand damage. Um, you have to be careful with crawltipedes because they can spot on floating islands and then fly to you if there's a floating island nearby. But as long as there are no floating islands or anything nearby, you'll, you're safe from fall to beats. And as long as they don't spawn and then fly up to follow you. Okay, um... I'm gonna make Venom Bullets. I have plenty of vials. Hey, AJ McFarlane. Um, where's my arms dealer at? Aren't you over here? Yeah. I'm gonna take my shiny stone. And probably equip it. Um, because we're gonna have to just fight fight these pillows out right um wait do you use empty musket oh empty bullet casings for venom i didn't think you did why do i have a sword because it was a joke god damn <laughs> It's an annoying mithril sword. It sucks. empty bullets. Huh, I didn't, I thought it was, uh, musket balls. Oh well, I guess I can use those for, like, four or five bullets or something. Buy some more empty bullets, then. Yeah, I'm thinking... Venom bullets to the play. Okay. Um. Fuck it, Nebula. I mean, 
Gotta start somewhere. Let me take my bed over there too. Are there any floating islands? Yeah, I'll probably head up to the cyborg and set my spawn there. <clears throat> I'll need to be careful because well, actually <clears throat> once I get there they shouldn't be able to spawn anymore. Although, actually, it looks like the island might be high enough that it's outside of the spawn range of the pillar, which is good. Don't have to worry about things spawn camping me. And we can see sloppy. Yeah, we can get some sloppy. Okay, well. Welcome to health. Hasn't been too bad so far. I'm concerned about the project projectile on the ground enemies. Predictors and evolution beasts. Because these ones here are not difficult. You just fly in a circle. Um, since they nerfed nebula floaters. Um, but the problem is, like, evolution beasts on top of that will throw projectiles at you that are annoying to dodge. And since we have Venom, we can spread the dot around. So even if we're not constantly attacking, we're still getting some chip damage in. I'm going to put down my Heart Lantern, I think. I'm going to kill this um, nebula floater. Yeah, if you didn't notice, nebula floaters in 1.4.4 were nerfed. Um, now they have a cooldown between when they can teleport and shoot, which means they can't just, like, instantaneously snap, teleport, and snipe you. Um, and that gives you a lot more time to react and dodge them. If a brain suckler attaches to me, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to kill it before it kills me. So I have to be a little wary about that. Granted, they do still teleport and hit you sometimes. They are still annoying enemies. Uh, but they're just a little bit less annoying. I can't really sit still here. Shiny Stone's more of a solo pillar thing. Well, they were supposed to have been nerfed so that that isn't really possible anymore. Enemies aren't supposed to be able to really telefrag anymore. Um...
Like, they're supposed to pick areas that are not near you to teleport to. And, I mean, sometimes the game's still wonky, or if you're moving fast enough, it'll still happen. But it's much less of an issue than it used to be. Honestly, this is not nearly as unpleasant of an experience as I thought it might have been. Not having to deal with the evolution beasts is honestly making this way better. Because evolution beasts are the thing that really annoy me in the, uh, the nebula pillar. Because I, I never noticed that the mushroom cloud they shoot out is near me and it always hits me. Secretly, they're literally using the, um... Uh... I don't remember the name of the weapon. The shotgun that shoots a projectile that, uh, heals your sentry. I think the um, the first time I fought the Empress of Light was actually during the, the original handguns only challenge run that I did. Because I distinctly remember killing her with a Venus Magnum post Moon Lord. And the only reason I would have had a Venus Magnum post Moon Lord would have been during handguns only. See that that uh that shotgun guy down there, that's what I didn't want to have introduced to this this equation. Is random other projectiles. Or that um that evolution beast projectile. So I'm gonna go a bit higher so they despawn. What am I doing on ammo? I still got a good amount. I also need to decide what ammo I want to use for the Moon Lord, and honestly, I feel like Chlorophyte is the answer. Because I feel like I'm going to have to spend a lot of time off screen relative to where the Moon Lord is. And it's either Chlorophyte or Venom. Um, I'll probably make a bunch of both. But I feel like I'm probably going to be using Chlorophyte. Okay, uh, let me get that Brain Suck Loop Banner down. You managed to kill the Empress the second time you fought her, but you struggle with Golem every playthrough? Um, how much do you do between Plantera and Golem? 
like, do you do golem immediately after Plantera? Do you do other prep? Um, also, do you make, like, what kind of preparations do you do for golem? Do you have, like, a separate arena? Do you fight him in the temple? Do you, uh, like, disable enemy spawns in there? Do you have your arena buffs and whatnot? What I usually do for Golem is just fly semicircles around him. Semicircles dodge his lasers very well. You can also make like a platform above him and run above him, and that works well. Um, I find that one a little bit. Am I a cat boy? Um, cat boys are not real. They're, they're, they're not a thing that exists. I mean, I can like wear a tail and ears, but that doesn't make me a cat boy. That's usually what I do too, Lopsync. Um, especially since Relogic has fucked with the temple in a lot of ways and made it so you can't really adjust the temple's room when you fight Golem, because uh, you can no longer actuate Lizard Brick. Yeah, I'm using the Strong Insignia. Uh, what we ended up doing for the Empress of Light is I spent a lot of time waiting for it to rain and then I gave up on that and I just kept myself below half HP during the whole fight to use the truffle. How much more do we have? 11 more kills. You try to do that sometimes, it never works. It's a tricky game to play. A boss like the Empress of Light is an ideal one because the Empress is designed to be fought without taking damage. And so it's easy to manage your HP by getting hit intentionally and then not getting hit because it's very easy to dodge all of her attacks with the Truffle at full speed. Um, it's a lot harder on things like the Moon Lord where he just has a lot of spam attacks, and it's not the easiest to identify what's going on and when they're going to hit you. Uh, eight more kills. The most annoying thing is intentionally nerfing your regen, because I usually run a lot of regen accessories and potions and things like that. Um, but when you want to keep your HP low, you want to shoot your regen in the foot so you don't get health back. Um, and that's tricky. And it's a dangerous game to play, because if you mess up... Like, there was one time where I did mess up, and I didn't realize how much damage her dash did. Um, and I let her dash hit me to try to take some damage, and it dealt like 250 damage, and I was below half HP, so it just killed me. Um, you're kind of putting yourself near one-shot range, um, which makes it not that much different from Daytime Empress, although it's a bit more forgiving. Would it work using Rod of Discord damage? Uh, yes, because I think Rod of Discord, is it half of your current HP, or is it 20% of your max HP? I forget which. But yeah, you could do it with the Rod. Okay, uh, once these two nebula floaters die, we'll be done. I died more to Stardust and Vortex than Nebula. I 
They do get venomed. Wait. No, they don't get venomed. They're immune to all debuffs. It's also tough because in order to take damage, you have to intentionally mess up your dodging. Which can then put you situated to take even more damage. Um, but yeah, I had to I had to work on my damage a bit. I ended up getting an Avenger Emblem. Um, I was using the Moonstone, and I used the Shrimpy Truffles damage buff, and that let me get enough damage to kill Empress. And I think it took like 7 or 8 minutes. Our DPS was pretty good, all things considered. And we're using Shroomite Armor now. Um... And I think I'm going to shell Moonlord. Because it's a big investment getting to the fight. And I don't care that much about having good damage. But I'll, I'll see. I just can't, can't just think of the right accessories. Have I done an attempt on Moonlord yet? No. If I have shell, I'm confident the first attempt will be a success. If I don't have shell... It would probably go faster, but I'm not entirely confident that that first one would work. Um, okay, Solar's next. Which, um... Oh boy, Solar Pillar. Um... Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> what is the play here? Uh... I don't even know, like... It's in the jungle too, which is like the worst spot for Solo to be, because that makes it a lot more difficult to skirt the outsides. Damn. Fuck those are like knockback immune. Let me try exploding bullets. Nah, they're all, like, knockback immune. God damn. Um, okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I don't like it, but I think it would work. It's just gonna be slow. Let me move my bed closer. Um. I don't like it, but it would work. Back a couple of years ago, you think standing below solo enemies worked fine? The core rights are the issue. I don't have a good means to deal with core rights. But yeah, there were plenty of ways to deal with all of the non core right enemies. Plantera, what are you doing? The problem is these fuckers are knockback immune. So I'm gonna set my bed here. Oh boy, yeah, I don't like this, but I think this is the the strap. Actually, click the bed. Oh, I might not have. 
Uh, I didn't know. Good catch. I should kill those guys over there too. Got to deal with the actual fucking jungle enemies, too. Draconian versus tortoise, which is more dangerous. I don't have my claw fight bullets on me. Can't really deal with fault defeats. I hate that they respawn with full HP when you kill one of the, the Vider and Dracanian pair. I didn't realize they were capable of doing that. Uh, I don't think they can, Spooku, no. I didn't know that tortoises could just stroll up like that. Okay. Good to know. It's probably that bottom one. No, it's not the bottom one. Okay. Whatever. There's not really much I can do about that once he got in there. Without jeopardizing my, uh... I respawn here anyway. Fine. I'll just make a fucking door. Okay? Will that make you happy? Game? Yeah, I don't know how to do this without taking things one or two at a time like this. I wish I brought my heart lantern. Thankfully, Selenians were also nerfed in 1.4.4. 4. 
Um, although I think it was an indirect nerf. They nerfed reflecting projectiles in general. Um, which effectively nerfed selenians. I got plenty of ammo still. Hey, Liam. No, oh, fuck it. Going fault to beat hunting. Okay, almost twenty percent of the way there. Why are hardly any enemies spawning? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, the solo pillar is not nearly as annoying as the jungle. In this in this equation. I think hardly any enemies are spawning because there are other enemies already spawned, like... Do have any cheese for plantar that don't need 2 million wood and hay? Um... I mean... If you do the, uh... Like, if you min-max defense, it's not quite a cheese, but, like, it's pretty difficult for bosses to kill you if you just, like, have a really tanky build. Um, and on lower difficulties, you can out-DPS her with, like, the fetid bagnax and stuff. Um, I don't think that would work on, like, legendary. It might work on master. Uh... Let's take us down to like 75 left. Yeah. 
You only have Palladium and you're in the Calamity mod. Why don't you get better armor? Is... Also, yeah, Calamity changes things a lot. Um, You can't? Why not? Don't have any pickaxe for a better one? But... Can you not make, like, a pickaxe axe? Have you not killed all three mech bosses? Wait, if you haven't killed all three mech bosses, why are you fighting Plantera? Everybody loves the solar pillar. But yeah, I would kill the mech bosses before going for Plantera. Plantera and Calamity mod is really difficult compared to vanilla. Um, and I don't know that the cheeses that work in vanilla would... You forgot that mechs are required? Mm. Yeah, you gotta... Well, Plantera might have a summoning item that can be obtained without mechs in Calamity mod. Calamity has weird progression. But you should definitely fight her. Um... After the mechs. She is much harder than the mech bosses. And Calamity gives you a lot of buffs. At least on the, the higher difficulties. I don't know about like... On Revengeance at least. She has a lot of extra attacks and things. Hey ZZYY. Is it morning for you? It's like... 6 at night for me. Eleven PM. Mm. What are you in like Western Europe? England? Mm. Oh, I am about forty percent of the way done with the solo pillar. Now we can move on to Moonlord. Yeah, this Selenian's reflected bullets don't do shit. One damage a hit. Which, partially, it's because I'm using a Phoenix Blaster, and, like, the damage wasn't very high to begin with, uh, but it's also partially because reflected bullets got nerfed. You removed your axe, you gave it to your friend. Um, you can... Like, worst case scenario, you could buy a copper axe from the merchant. Um, if, like, you just need to cut down a tree to make another axe or something. to make it so you can craft the axe with the stellar tune. I, I I don't really care that much. I don't.
Hi, good luck. Which mech did you do first? What are the ones you have left? Because you have to kill a mech to get uh, the tier 1 ore, right? Make axe post with Nord 2. Destroyer? I think this will help our spawn rates. Because this will despawn. Yeah, there we go. Selenian still around? No. I do wish the Foggers wasn't so annoying to make here. It would be nice. Like, this would be a great situation to kill all the rest of these guys, but now there's a Corvite in the way and I can't fight them. Now there's a lot less. There's a bit less. I guess they ended up making it here in the end. Okay, halfway there. No, leave me alone. Okay. Thank you. Pull right again. It's the Corvite and Faltipede combo that's bad. Because, like, dodging Corvites without going in the air is not easy. Most of the Drake Myers. Hey, Austin. Yeah, I'm still streaming. We're on the last of the pillars now. Here with the shiny stone. I think we're down to like 40 left. If I blow up the ground, it'll stop the bullets from getting reflected. Actually, no, it doesn't seem to get quite close enough.
Once you flew up straight after healing, your stream completely crash. That's not good. Well, at least it's back now. 41. Okay, this will take us down to 40 once we kill these three biters and the, um, Fault Speed. Sixteen hundred damage with Phoenix Blaster, yeah. I love the uh, the ten x damage multipliers on Falter Beats. Reflecting only does one damage. One, I have a lot of defense. Two, Reflecting got mega nerfed in 1.4.4. Uh, massively nerfed. To the point that Reflecting pretty much always does, like, no damage whatsoever. It's pretty much completely ignorable. We're faster than him. We're faster than him. Kill him. Yeah, before we hit space, please. Okay. All reflected attacks. Not just, like, it doesn't matter what it is. All reflected attacks. It's alright. We're faster than a fault to beat. Oh yeah, I love exploding bullets. They're one of my favorite bullets. People sleep on exploding bullets so much. Like, they're... Like, not even, like... Even if you took away the crowd control aspect of it, the knockback alone... is phenomenal. Yeah, except the Titan Glove actually, like, kind of sucks um, when you're playing melee, because most melee weapons, you want to keep enemies close to you so you can hit them. But then the Titan Glove, you end up shooting them, uh, knocking them away. Whereas with this, you want to keep things away from you, so they synergize a lot better. I don't know why they don't explode when they hit me. That's interesting. They pierce through you. Are there any attacks that, upon hitting the player... You know what? Fuck it. I'll do it again. This is actually, like, an incredibly good way of killing Qualter Beats. Because normally, you're so much slower than Qualter Beats. Uh, but the boosted ascension speed from the Empress Wings are enough to outspeed them. Would it explode in PvP? I don't know. Are there any projectiles that... Um, expire on contact with the player? Or is it all projectiles go through players? I don't actually know. When did I kill Empress? Uh, before I did Pillars. Like, like an hour ago, hour and a half. Well, I'm not just talking in PvP, I just mean in general. Like, enemy projectiles. Do those always go through players? Do they stop upon hitting players, any of them? Because all the ones I can think of, I think, go through players.
Queen Bee Stingers? I I don't know. I've never paid that much attention. You're doing this faster than you could if you started with a Zenith? No. No way. The Zenith is so absurdly overpowered. Like... But yeah, with pretty much any gun, with exploding bullets, you can stun lock and keep it bay, like late game extremely knockback resistant enemies. I don't... I don't think imp fireballs ex expire on contacting with a player. I think they, um... I don't like the fact that when it comes to Drakemire Riders, if you kill the Rider first, do this in Calamity? No. Calamity made the Phoenix Blaster. I don't like the Calamity Phoenix Blaster. They made it shoot really slowly. Banana Mangs are really good. It does upgrade like two more times. I don't care. I mean, the Phoenix Blaster itself, I don't like what they did to it. Yeah, if you kill the Rider first with the Dracomire Riders, then the Dracomire Mount keeps the damage that you dealt to it. But if you don't kill the Rider first, if you kill the mount first, the rider respawns with full HP. Oh, the Phoenix Blaster has awful knockback. Uh, very weak knockback. It doesn't have good knockback at all. Exploding bullets just have incredible knockback. Uh... Can they open doors? I don't, I don't think they can. Oh. The other thing with the solo pillar is it's difficult to get banners for the enemies on the first time fighting it because of how diverse the amount of enemies or the, the number of enemies because of the number of enemies they are and how there aren't really any one that's favored so you end up just killing all of them and getting like 20 30 kills in all of them um and then you don't really get any banners as opposed to like Nebula, where you always get a brain or a brain suckler banner, or usually like an alien queen banner in Vortex. Okay, three more. Do I drink tea? Not really. I usually just drink water. Um, the thing is, multiple bullets can't hit at once with a shotgun. Because one bullet will explode and then give iframes, and then the rest of them won't hit. So, exploding bullets are bad with shotguns, because you'll only get one of them to blow up. Go! Oh, wait. Right, hold on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I forgot that my spawn was set there. Uh, let's get ready for the moon look. Uh, I don't need to upgrade to, like, super healing potions or anything. I would rather just keep the fragments in case I die and need to make more sigils. Um... Chlorophyte bullets. A lot of them. A lot of them. Where did my chlorophyte bullets go?
There they are. What is that abomination? That's a centipede. Um, you could, Austin, yeah. Um, but that's probably one of the, the less egregious things you could do with a mod that disables iframes. I don't need a treasure magni. Okay. Boots don't need boots. Boots are useless. Um, probably switch to Charm of Myths off the shiny stone. Um, and I think I vote with that. And I'm gonna swap to Beetle, I think, for Moon Lord. Uh, for more insurance. And then... Make some, some potions. Make a bunch of iron skins. I'm gonna get some day bloom. Be some on the ground, I imagine. Lollipop house? What? Oh, the ocean? Um... Yeah, yeah, that house. Yeah, yeah. It's, I don't know. I think it's nice over there, personally. I think it's a great place to live. Is that Mickey Mouse? No, that's a horse. It's very clearly a horse. <laughs> Die Trader Sweep, yeah. Mouse. No, no. 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 It's a horse with more visible ears. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's got some big ears, you know? Some some people just have big ears. Yeah, and he's drinking water. No, it's a horse. It's not a mammal. Because mammal implies it could be any mammal. It's specifically a horse. Yeah, the twin's pet does look good with negative die. Hmm. more for There's a bit of forest over there. But we got... We got a bit of day bloom. I think we'll be fine. I don't think it'll be that long of a fight. Oh, that's right. I had a, a golden bunny that I never cooked. Uh, are the twins considered one pet or two pet? Um, I would refer to them in plural. I mean, it's one pet as per the game, but I would, when referencing them, I would, I would refer to them in plural. Okay. 
their potions, their buffs. Something else I wanted. Oh, I was going to pawn off some possessions for money. I don't need hollowed armor. shiny stone anymore. Um, no. Also, Among Us is a banned topic. Don't reference it. Oh shit, I got a stake too? Let's get the show on the road. Uh, potions of return last indefinitely until you use them. Maybe I do. Tell you what, I'll start the fight with Shroomite and then I'll get a feel for things and maybe I'll switch to Beetle. Because it is a big damage loss. Let's see how this goes. I'd rather stick to the right side of the world because it's more open there. Left side gets really high up. I'll assess how I'm feeling. Uh, is it this next pulse? I think it's this next pulse. Yeah. Okay, I can't outspeed it. I'm swapping the beetle. I don't like that damage amount that I took there. I am going too high up. This thing is going to hit me. Uh, unless I can... Uh... Fuck. Okay, but it didn't spawn a leech because it went back fast enough. That's good. We'll be fine. I got to go down a bit, though. Over under 30 minutes. That's plausible. We'll have to see uh, how our damage goes. I mean, at the rate we're doing it, it'll be like less than 30 minutes, but we'll have to um, have to see. I outrun that tongue really well. Uh, I got the Empress Wings to drop, and Empress Wings have bitchin' ascension speed. Um... When combined with the Soaring Insignia as innate Ascension Speed Boost. Falling also works really well. Um, I have a good feel for the timing of it. And I let it hit me at the end there because I knew it wasn't going to um, send back a leech. Because it was going to despawn within time. 
Once we get to phase two, it'll be a little more awkward. I'll probably have to start incorporating recall potions near the end. Um... To get myself back down, because I don't have, like, a slime out. How long do you think this fight's gonna last? Uh, 20 minutes. The tongue has a shorter cooldown between... Um, between them in phase two, um, like it, uh, it doesn't, it moves at the same speed, but instead of every, instead of being on a 15 second cooldown, it's on a five second cooldown. And that also means with his tongue in phase one, make a video on how to cheese every calamity boss. The answer is more than likely potions of return. And the nurse. I don't... The pop... Calamity's not... F like, Calamity has anti-cheese built into it. Like, a lot of anti-cheese built into it. Um... The Calamity devs really put in a lot of effort to try to make their bosses not be cheesable. Um... And so, like, the degree to which you can cheese them is not very high. I like the Phoenix Blaster. The Phoenix Blaster is my favorite weapon in the game. Be like, this is just an awkward situation. To Maybe I swap the Magic Mirror up there? Because I go up to dodge it once, but then I can't get down fast enough. If I had, like, a slime mount, I could fall pretty quickly. And that would probably get me there. Um, but as is, the uh, the timing of stuff just does not line up well. Especially because when dodging this laser, you tend to go upwards. Yeah, let me, uh, soon see. Um, so that leaves you in, a, in an upward position. Um. And yeah, I don't need Beetle Armor to be doing... Oh, whoops, I completely forgot he was about to send his tongue out. Um, if I was not using Beetle Armor, there's a non-zero chance I would die. Um, and as a result, I would rather just do it with Beetle Armor. Like, I don't think I would die. I might. It's a long fight. A lot of mistakes I could make. Um, What chest plate? Uh, shell. Uh, why the, why the fuck would I use beetle armor with scale mail with the phoenix blaster? <laughs> shell is the defensive one. Scale mail is the one that gives you melee speed and melee damage. Shell is the one that has the, uh, the 45% damage reduction. Uh, maybe half an hour is a more reasonable estimate. Looking at it now. You go to the Hollow to Floor fight. Yeah, I mean... Beetle Armor is generally overkill when playing... Like, outside of hardcore or low damage challenge runs. Like, if I was just playing normally, I would not go for Beetle Armor on the Moon Lord. Um... Unless I happened to get a lot of turtle shells drop and it was convenient. Um, but when you damage already... When you're already in for a long fight, I don't really mind making it a bit longer. If it ensures that I won't die during it. Um, because as long as you put in a modest amount of effort dodging with beetle armor, you will not die. Um, if you get hit once every three seconds and you have the 45% damage reduction, you're not dying. Uh, to bosses. Regular enemies possibly might, because regular enemies hit a lot harder than bosses do. Um, you only use Turtle Beetle once. 
Uh, I don't... I'm not a big fan of total armor. Uh, and if I'm tanking late game, and, like, I really want to make a super effective tank build, Beetle's not actually very good at it. Because the weird thing about Beetle is it's not actually very good for tanking. Um... It's good for staying alive, and those are different things. Um... And it's especially bad at face tanking. Uh, or like being a multiplayer tank. You don't really want to use beetle armor with that. Um, what you'd want to use beetle armor for is... Like, situations where you want to make sure that you do not die. Um, and that you tend to use it in combination with dodging. And avoiding bosses. And it's essentially the I don't die code. Whereas, um... Maybe half an hour is, like I said, a more reasonable estimate. When you're, like, tanking in multiplayer, you want to get hit. You want to draw, draw aggro. You want to make sure that the damage is going to you and it's not going to other players. And so you generally, you know, stand still. You face tank. You get hit a lot. And because Beetle Armor's damage reduction buff only applies if you don't get hit... Um... I think Terraria is more difficult on console, yeah. The controls are a lot harder. Um, keyboard's very powerful for controls. Um, the more you get hit with beetle armor, the worse it is, because you lose the damage reduction buff, and then you just have a buff that doesn't give you very good defense compared to some other sets. Like, it's good defense, but it's not, like, insane defense, and it doesn't give you good damage buffs, and you're just stuck with, like, nothing. Um, Solo is much better... Um, for face tanking than Beetle. Because Solo rewards you for getting hit. Um, because it has the AoE explosion. And more importantly, it has life regen on the pieces. That's a big part of making effective tank builds, is life regen and sustain. And Beetle Armor does not have that. If you want late game tanking Cream Moon Lord, you want Valhalla Knight Chestplate. Because Valhalla Knight Chestplate has sustain. It has life regen. Um... And that's a big deal. Um, and makes it drastically more effective. Uh, and it also goes to a defense build instead of a damage reduction build. Um, and the more you get hit, it doesn't get less effective like Beetle Armor does. Um, so if I want a late game, very effective tank build, I would be going for Valhalla Knight Chestplate, Valhalla Knight Greaves, and... Probably a hollowed mask. Um, old ones only can be a bit taxing, but I tend to do it in multiplayer, and multiplayer is generally the time when I would want to have a tank build like that. Um, so that's the sort of situation where I would where I would do that. Um is in multiplayer when you're trying to get tank built like that. To protect other people. Alright, we're about halfway done with phase one. It's been about nine minutes. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe half an hour is a more reasonable play. Uh, estimate. I don't know why I said play. <laughs> Out of the third night world go in multiplayer? Oh, I went fine. Uh, both of the, the second, third round of worlds finished them. Uh... It, um... It was really falling apart. It's kind of a thematic thing, where in the morning worlds, I tend to play a tank. And in the night worlds, I tend to just play like a ranger. Or, um, not play a tank. And it's a recurring theme that the early game goes really well. Um, but in the late game, once you get to, like, Plantera Golem, even the mech bosses... It is very rough not having a dedicated tank. And as a result, the Night Worlds tend to start off strong, but then kind of uh, struggle a lot more late game if I'm not tanking. Uh, whereas the Morning Worlds tend to start off struggling, but then late game we have several tanks and we steamroll everything. Um... 
I remember the morning world, or sorry, the night world in the third round had a lot of difficulty with the mech bosses. Um, for the night worlds, uh, they're multiplayer events. Um, I, I do two multiplayer worlds, one in the morning and one at night for people in different time zones. Um, And I, I still don't know what was going wrong with the mech bosses. It's really like For the Worthy Prime. Uh, yeah, For the Worthy Prime is rough. Um, I Making him destroy blocks was just an awful decision. Um... I'm gonna try the swap to Chloro. Well, let's. I'm not really sure. The problem is I can't see. You cannot see chlorophyte bullets with um the Moon Lord's visual filter. Eh, I don't think. I mean, I'm hitting more bullets. It's hard to tell. My damage is like 10 lower a shot, and I also don't get the Venom debuff, but I also hit more bullets. Mechdusa does not destroy blocks, no. It would be awful if Mechdusa destroyed blocks. Just absolutely horrible. Um, because Mechdusa is very much so like an arena boss and an endurance fight, and it's a long fight where you generally want to build an arena, um, and then you gotta kill all three mech boss HP bars simultaneously. And if Mechdusa destroyed blocks, that would, um, like, really fuck up your ability to build an arena, um, to fight Mechdusa in. Um, it would be awful. Just awful, awful, awful. Can you mech do so with Zenith easily? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just the three mech bosses taped together. Um, and also weaker than... Mech Dusa is weaker than the three mech bosses individually. Like, if you were to summon all three mech bosses at the same time and fight them, it is easier than fighting mech Dusa as a unit. Um, and the Zenith can shred all three mech bosses simultaneously. Um, it, the Zenith is incredibly overpowered. Um, and just annihilates everything in the game. Um, like, what does Mech Deuce to drop? Uh, the same thing is so each of the Mech bosses drop their treasure bags individually. That is, when you kill the destroyer part of Mech Deuce, it drops the destroyer um, treasure bag, and then uh, twins and things. But um. It also drops, if you kill all three of them, it drops the, uh, the Waffle Iron. Which is a melee weapon. Um. Yeah, yeah, the Zenith is way too late to be, like, useful in Calamity. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Like, it makes sense. You could not keep the Zenith as is in Calamity mod for post-Moon Lord content. But the way they changed it made it, like, just bad. Because it's... Um... By the time you get it, uh, just... Kind of sucky. I was getting a computer, you're gonna finally play Calamity? Eh, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Calamity Mod, but I thought it was fun to play once. I might have to ditch Chlorophyte, um, because I gotta make sure I'm dealing damage to that top eye. 
and uh, Clothify's homing into the hands, hitting those instead. Hey, Sintio. Yeah, Thoium was cool. Um, I was enjoying Thoium up until the, um, the, like, post-Moonlord triple boss fight thing. That kind of just made me go, like, hey, yo, what the fuck is this? What is this balancing? Um, but up until that point, I was, I was vibing with it. I imagine it'd be more fun in multiplayer, because then I feel like a lot of the classes were designed around multiplayer, and I was doing it single player. The post Moonlord, that easy, but easier than Moonlord. I did not get that impression of them. They seemed a lot more annoying than Moonlord. They also had, like, way more HP than Moonlord. From what I remember. Primordials are Circle Simulator? Okay, Moonlord is just, like, Kite Across the World Simulator. But Moonlord has way less HP than them. I said more trouble with Moonlord than Primordials. I feel like... Moonlord's... A very intimidating fight... To learn. Because there's a lot going on. But once you learn Moonlord, he's not a terribly difficult boss. Um... You generally want to stick to one of a couple strategies, um, and you don't just want to kind of roll up with no plan. Um, a Witch's Broom, Truffle, or uh, Soaring Insignia will allow you to just kite across the world and dodge him on those. The UFO can do it as well, but it's a little bit trickier on the UFO. Uh, Asphalt also works very well. Um, give it up present because you didn't want to spoil yourself Rain World. Um, I've been doing well since here. Um, and yeah, that's understandable. Have you started playing Rainworld, or are you still, like, thinking about getting it, or what? Um, you could also just do the... My favorite Moonlord setup is still the, um, the one that I made for killing Moonlord with Bouncy Dynamite. You could just do whatever the fuck I did there, and that'll, that'll kill the Moonlord. It won't be easy, but it'll do it. Um, also, if you have a tank build, uh, tank builds can eat the Moonlord for breakfast. And if a min-max late-game tank build uh, can just stand still on top of the Moonlord. I would recommend, I if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend watching the uh, the stream or the, the video where I killed uh, the Moon Lord with Bouncy Dynamite. Because the setup there is phenomenal. It's really incredible. You will after TOTK? I don't know what TOTK is. Now you're playing Dark Souls. Nice. The new Zelda? Oh, okay. I don't have a Switch, so I... I... Can't play it anyway. How is it?
but yeah, um, the tricky thing about what I'm doing now is I I can't just dodge the Moon Lord. I have to also dodge his tongue, um, which could be a bit more of an issue in Phase 2. In Phase 1, it's not too bad. It comes out the 12th of May. Oh, okay. Look, man, I, I don't keep up with games that I don't play. You dislike playing single-player games? Why is that? You just have more fun playing with friends? I like single-player games a lot. Okay, we got them down to about 1,500 each. Probably get them down to like 500, and then actually go kill them. Games are infinitely more fun with friends. That's understandable. But you can play more games, your old laptop's bad and your new laptop has some issues after has that issue after issue hmm. the issue i have with playing with friends a lot of the time is i'm a lot better at video games than a lot of my friends are um and i feel like that uh can make multiplayer uh awkward sometimes I think I'm going to swap back to Chlorophyte Bullets. It's going to get a bit dicey here. Uh, it's really difficult for me to dodge these True Eyes of Cthulhu. Um, while also dodging the Tongue. This is not good. That tongue's gonna hit me here. Oh, maybe not. Enjoy the not seeing the Moon Lord simulator. <laughs> because I have to avoid the true eyes of Cthulhu. Shit. Heal off there. Yeah, he did. Got left of the core core spawns every time he teleports. Yeah. Uh, people in sandbox team, people want their friends, so that does make sense. Yeah. Um, I do think something like Minecraft is really boring single player. Uh. And I kind of got a similar vibe. Like, I was not a huge fan of, like, single-player Factorio. Uh, whereas multiplayer Factorio, I really enjoyed. Because it felt like I was making things and showing my friends and and, and things like that. Um, whereas in single-player, I kind of just got bored after a little while. Um, but yeah, I get that. That feeling. Yeah, I'm playing a uh, a tricky game here, which is, I want, I don't want the Moon Lord to teleport. I want to maintain like the edge of his, uh, teleporting location. Um. Because the True Eyes will teleport with him, and I want to get away from them. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but 
the reason kiting the Moon Lord across the world is a good idea. You want to bring him with you. You do not want to have him teleport, though. And the reason for that is, um... True Eyes of Cthulhu move at the same speed as the Moon Lord, but they stop to attack, whereas the Moon Lord never stops if he's chasing you. Um... So if the Moon Lord is coming straight for you, and the True Eyes of Cthulhu are moving at the same speed, but they're stopping to attack every once in a while, they're going to lag behind him. And then you get to a situation like what's happening right now, which is the True Eyes of Cthulhu are behind the Moon Lord, and their attacks are not reaching me, especially the laser attacks. Those are the tricky ones. Um... And, uh, as a result, I can mostly just ignore the True Eyes of Cthulhu, because they're not close enough to really be a threat. Um, damn. That one hit me. You wish more games had Dark Souls Invasion mechanics? Uh, it's tricky, because Dark Souls Invasion mechanics can be off-putting to a lot of people. Non-consensual PvP. Um, okay, he's gonna get heal off there. But I do like them a lot. But it's easy to do incorrectly and to just have a miserable player experience because of PvP getting shoved down their throat and being forced to have to deal with it. I wish I was close enough to use my... Eh, damn. Okay. We're gonna have to pop a recall as soon as this tongue comes out. Yeah, unfortunately, whittling down the core is a lot slower than whittling down... Is he gonna get another heal off? Damn it. Oh, t no, that's not good. Okay. I didn't realize the tongue had hit me. Fuck. Okay. Oh, we'll... We'll take a little L there. The insignia is a bit trickier to, um... walk over the Moon Lord like this with, compared to, um, teleporters and, uh, the truffle and whatnot. So I gotta get a, uh, good feel for it. Getting hit a lot, and that's not good. Because uh, right, anyway, I'm gonna uh, deal with the nurse. Do a safety play. Beetle endurance is wearing off because I was taking a lot of chip damage from the uh, lasers. Damn, kind of fucked that one up. Prioritizing dodging uh, the tongue over dodging attacks, which is generally what I want to do. That's why we have tanky armor. Uh, okay. We'll get no though. I think we're like uh, a third of the way down with the core. We're still got a pretty good supply of ammo. Tagged me there. Fuck. Damn. That is unfortunate. Okay. We're gonna, uh. Shit. Yeah. He yielded a bit there. Messed up my, uh... Yeah, whatever. Chip didn't hit me on the way back.
We're fine. I've just been letting him heal a little bit. Small mistake. But we're working for it. He hasn't been healing large amounts. Just, uh, just a little bit. I gotta heal. Oh, uh, recall here. You ever been less excited to do something than go to swim practice right now? I used to, uh, be in a swim team when I was younger. I wasn't very good at swimming. I remember I would, uh, I would win, like, awards. Like, my swim team had, like, annual awards, right? And they'd be things like, uh, best swimmer in, like, the 11 to 12 age category, or most improvement, or, like, awards like that. And I would, like, win all of those awards by default because I was the only person in my age category <laughs> on the team that was, like, male. So I would just de facto win all of the, um, awards, despite the fact that, um, I was not very good at swimming. Like, I was okay. I wasn't bad at it by any means. Um. Okay, we're gonna... I keep... It's not letting him heal so much as it is, like... Um... Miscalculating, I feel like. Because I'm... I'm kind of skirting the top of the world a lot. And hoping that the tongue retracts before it hits me. Um, and sometimes my timing is a little bit off. Uh, and that's when he tends to heal. Oh, no, no, no. There were other people... Like, there were other teams to compete against that had people in my age category. But there were not other people in my age category on my team. So, like, when my team had the the awards at the end of the year, I would just, like, win them by default. After this, we can compare my initial uh, Phoenix Blaster fight with the Moon Lord. I think that one took like 45 minutes to kill him. But I was also using, I think, Luminite bullets and a starboard. Um, and possibly Vortex armor. I don't remember. Uh, we can also check my uh, Plantera Phoenix Blaster kill. Suffering from success, yeah. I don't know. I swimming was weird. It was a weird sport. Uh, I didn't dislike it, um, but like swim meets are the weirdest thing because you go there, and the vast majority of time you are spending at the swim meet, you are not competing. You are not having an event or a race. You have like a couple of races, um, that day, and then the rest of the time you just like sitting out beneath a, um, a pavilion or something. Um. Like, okay, yeah, I have something at 3 p.m., but I'm here from, like, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., so it's the whole fucking day. Uh, swimming is the best for your body. Isn't swimming bad for your body? Like, not bad, but, like, not a very good sport for losing weight or working out because you don't burn very many calories in the water um because it naturally like you expend less energy to move throughout the water compared to moving throughout um the world regularly I don't know, I remember hearing about swimming not being very good for, like, weight loss because of that reason. But I'm not certain. I'm not a... an expert on weight loss strategies. It's still exercise, so it's still...
But it takes a lot more energy to move through. I haven't looked it up recently, and it's not like I'm in a position to. Shit, I didn't want to teleport. Ooh, we're on an island. That's not ideal. Ah, uh, top of the world, 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 top of the world. Okay. No, it hit me. Fuck. I'm not literally saying that, like, the resistance water applies to you is less than air resistance. However, you have to expend energy to support your muscles against gravity when you're doing sports on land. When you're in the water, you don't have to do that. You're buoyant. You float. Right? That's the premise of what I'm talking about. Well, that would stop you, like, the normal force is what would stop you from, like... <laughs> ...breaking through the surface that you're standing on, but you still have to support your body and stand upright. Like... If you were lying prone, sure, the normal force would take all of it, but to stand upright on two legs, you have to expend energy. I don't like the HP situation I'm in. Two-thirds of the way there. small heal off there, but that's fine. Fuck. Tagged me at the end there. It's gonna get another small heal off, but that's fine. We still got 4,000 bullets. We're alright. As long as we got ammo, we're fine.
Uh, I'm using Clo- I was using Venom Bullets in Phase 1 a lot. Um, but since I can't really see the Moon Lord in Phase 2, I'm, uh, using Clawfite for the homing. Moon Lord is not invincible all debuffs. In fact, there are very few debuffs that the Moon Lord is invincible to. He is vulnerable to almost every debuff in the game. Um, I think Confused is the only debuff that he's immune to. Keeps tagging me at the end. Yeah, the reason I'm recalling, the way the healing works, I feel like I describe this every single time I fight the Moon Lord during one of these challenges. Uh, his healing is tied to the Moonbite debuff. Um, when you have the debuff and his tongue is out, he will spawn leeches that fly back to him to heal him, even if the tongue is not connected to you or touching you. Um, like right now, if you pay attention, that tongue is out, it did not hit me, it summoned back a leech that's going back to fly to heal him. So I recall back to despawn it because it despawns like a regular enemy. Uh, so by getting away from it, it despawns. Right here, unfortunately, I don't really have the ability to get far enough away fast enough, so I can't despawn that one. Uh, so he heals once whenever he tags me. Um, which is not bad for this setup. Uh... But yeah, avoiding his healing is either killing the leeches, despawning the leeches, or not having the leeches, the tongue hit you so the leeches never spawn in the first place. Um, never use potions or flasks or anything when you play because you're far too lazy to craft those things. Um, I would suggest learning how to craft iron skin and regen potions, at least for more difficult playthroughs. Um, if you can make do without them, that's fine. But they make a big difference. Um, and especially when you're on, like, Master Mode for the Worthy, stuff like that. They can be really, really helpful. And they take very simple ingredients to craft. Food buffs are also very helpful. There are a lot of different food recipes, and your HP regen is after actually nerfed in, um, Expert Mode. Uh, and food buff brings it back to the normal HP level. Whereas on Classic Difficulty, it, um, gives you an HP regen buff. Uh, I fucked up. You might get a couple heals there. Yeah, shit. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, he's healing a bit, but... Oh, well. I don't want to jeopardize my ability to stay alive. Flashbacks to we need to make almost every potion in pre-hard mode to be expert wall of flash with a sun fury. Yeah, uh That's rough. Yeah, we're almost there. We are in an awkward position though, one that I don't like very much. God damn it, he tagged me again. We're gonna have to just uh, eat some heals uh, that he's gonna do, because we can't really jeopardize getting hit very many more times uh, in quick succession here. But that's fine. Uh, we just have to stabilize. We were in an awkward spot there uh, for a minute. I had to uh, stop trying to avoid letting him heal so I could uh, be sure to stay alive. Uh, can't the Empress Wings hover? No. Betsy Wings are the ones that hover. <laughs> the Titan Potion? I don't think I've ever genuinely made a Titan Potion with the intention of actually having it be useful. The only times I've used a Titan Potion is when you get, like, the random ones as loot. Then it's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll take a Titan Potion. I don't know. Okay, he's gonna get a heal here, but that's fine. We can deal with just one. Hoverboard would have been a better choice? No, definitely not. God, no. What the fuck? The hoverboard sucks. What? 
no, the whole crux of our strategy right now relies on the Empress Wings having the Ascension Speed Boost, which allows us to get away from the tongue. If we had a hoverboard, we couldn't do that. The Starboard and potentially Betsy's Wings are the only ones that have, like, decent hover. Um, Starboard hover sucks. It's not good. It is not fast. It does not have the speed that we want. Yo, we got our second golden delight. Okay, we're 48 minutes in. Okay, I guess it'll be about an hour. Damn, he keeps tagging me right at the end. I keep thinking it's going to go away faster than it does. What's my favorite dev set? Um, I like Senx's set because I really like Senx's wings. Senx has really, really nice wings. I'm running out of potions? No, I'm not. I have 295 healing potions. Greater healing potions, maybe, but... <laughs> I'm not running out of healing potions. Nebula Mantle? Uh, what, the Hover? Uh, Vortex Booster has the, the Hover, too. The Nebula Wings and Vortex Wings are identical, and then Stardust and Solar Wings are identical. And yeah, even their Hover is not very good. Skips Wings? Skips his set? Uh, I don't remember his set very well. Um... I also, shout out to, uh, to Grox. Love Grox uh, and his set, mostly because when I was doing Terraria without light, um, his wings were the dev wings that I got that allowed me to have wings because uh, they didn't produce light, uh, and I, I remember that pretty well. I want to see the fear in his eyes when he dies. We got to get close. Go to hell, Moon Man. You suck for the whole arms. Oh, is that what skips his wings are? Yeah, I think I remember those ones. Okay. Alright, place your bets. What did we get from the treasure bag? <clears throat> I'm gonna say... Lunar Flare and SDMG. Oh, shit, we got a Wyvern. Uh, do I have exploding bullets? I don't think I do have exploding bullets. Uh, Venom? Also, we get to see the background. I think we're going to get Wyvern showing up. Because I think the fight went on for long enough. There's a there's a cache of demon eyes and Wyverns that are waiting to show up. SDMG and, and Lunar Flare is my guess. Nah, Mark 2 and Portal, portal Staff. The Wyvern just decided to leave, I guess. Okay. Come on. Come on, I know you're back there. I know you're waiting to come out. The Wyverns and Demon Eyes. The, the Wyvern despawned. Come on. During long Moon Lord fights, the visual effect in the background... Like, stores... There, oh, there's... Okay, there's a couple. It wasn't a super long fight. 
So we didn't get a lot of them. But there's a couple of them back there. That is an okay amount. But if you want a big amount, go see when, like, I saw the, um, when I killed him with, like, a copper short sword or flare gun or something. There's a ton of them in the background. Um, but yeah. Uh, before we end here, I am going to find how did I kill Empress of Light within the time limit? Dealing good damage? I don't know. Uh... Okay. Filter. Ink splaster. Okay, we have... We have three things. Three things. Okay. Master mode plantar with Phoenix Blaster. Master mode moon load Phoenix Blaster. And all master mechanical bosses with Phoenix Blaster. These are from my old handguns only run, which is one of the first things that I streamed over on Twitch. Um... And I have some highlights of them on my on my channel. Uh, so this is the oldest video that I have on um on my channel, I think. Is this one here? Holy shit, my mic quality. What the fuck? I think I was using like a ten dollar USB microphone at this point. Also, the quality is not good. It's like 720p. Um, I was using i bullets. I have a blue horseshoe balloon. Uh, go to the actual fight. This is before auto-fire too, so I was clicking by hand. I mean, yeah, it's... About what you'd expect, going about the same. I had a lot more potion buffs. Holy fuck. Endurance potion, life force potion, major well-fed buff, hunter, ammo reservation? Is that ammo reservation? <laughs> or is that the ammo box? That might be the ammo box. And this is when I was working on the um, second phase strat of have two separate arenas. One to contain the balls, and then you run into the second, uh, second arena. Okay, I'm doing very well, by the way. Barely taking any damage. Not getting hit at all. Oh yeah, this is going fantastic. The lucky Brain of Confusion dodge, I think, is what saved me. And this was handguns only, so the Venus Magnum was, um... Like, the best, best thing to get. And this... This one's in 1080? What the fuck? No, it can't be in 1080. It must have just mistakenly rendered it in 1080 and it was in 720. This one's on this. It's not a very good video. I mean, it's just three mech bosses. I mean... The twins are pretty uneventful. It's just... I was using Icor bullets. I had a golden delight, apparently. Uh, I must have been fishing for life force potions and shit. What the fuck? Let me check what my gear is. A mythical pickaxe. Crimson axe. Uh. What's my inventory? I can get suspicious so quickly. Craft it. Oh, yo! This was before the uh, the flying Dutchman nerf, though. Um. So I had the uh. This is me talking about how master mode is disappointing. Um, oh wait, no, no, this is me talking about expert mode. Um, how the expert mode, hard mode bosses... 
uh, don't have very many changes. I think that's what I'm talking about. Because, like, the mech bosses barely have any changes. Oh, it's here, Tilper. Uh, and this is before I was good at fighting Retinazer, too. I want to see what strategy I had for... I'm still using the Panic Necklace, by the way. Uh, yeah, I was a lot... This is before I figured out how to fight Retinazer's second phase. Um, which is like running along and then jumping up when he starts doing the flurry attack. I'm just kind of running around and flying up and down. And it works well enough. But it's not a good strategy. Panic Necklace is good, but in hard mode, it kind of falls off. Oh, I got better armor, apparently. This must have been, like, my second attempt fighting them. Okay, I have... Let's see here. Why oh, one showed up. Uh, Frost Armor, Charm of Myths, Blue Horseshoe Balloon, Obsidian Shield, Spectre Boots, Panic Necklace, Frozen Wings, Brain of Confusion. Looks like they're reforged to warding based on my defense amount. Um, I have a lava proof bug net. Was I fishing in lava? What? How do I know that much? What do you mean? This is, uh, prime. If Frost Armor does not give 78 defense, I mean, it, it's kind of obvious. Frost Armor, I think, gives 46 defense. Uh, and then you add in the uh, 20-ish, 24 with ideal... Or 28 with ideal warding. And then iron skin, well fed. Uh, I'm still using flying Dutchman. Oh, 43. That was close. It takes 46 bows. That's what it is. Uh, but yeah, this is before the Phoenix Blaster had auto fire, so I was just doing all this by hand. Yeah, no, it's not worth it to kill his hands. Yeah, it's made from the tier 3 hard mode ore, but frost armor takes 46 of it, whereas the adamantite armor takes 54, and titanium armor takes 59. It takes less hard mode ore to make frost armor compared to... Okay, what am I talking about? Hold on. I'm talking about ramen noodles. I ate way too many ramen noodles in high school, and they made me nauseous. What's useful in different ways? What's useful in different ways? I think it might be Brain of Confusion I'm talking about. Damn, I am struggling on this Skeletron fight. I'm not doing very much damage at all. Yeah. The hands are acting as a damage sink. Why Phoenix Blaster? I like the Phoenix Blaster. I already finished the run. I'm going back and watching some old videos of mine where I was killing things with the Phoenix Blaster. My damage is way worse. Actually, no, that's because he has the increased defense when he's spinning. Yeah, no, now my damage is fine. We'll see how the destroyer went. I got a discount code? Goddamn. I failed the destroyer a couple times. I remember that. 
I must have been fishing because I have a sonar potion. Oh, thanks, Deaton. Let's see, Rage Potion, Wrath Potion, Endurance, Life Force, Shine, Swiftness, Regen, Iron Skin, Hunter, Major Well-Fed, 8 minutes. Um, 8 minutes of Major Well-Fed? Spaghetti? I must not have tried to kill the probe the first time. <laughs> God, I love the I love the half-ass strategies that I come up with. This is a shitty destroyer arena. I am just like flying semicircles with like 30 probes. Uh and just like rolling up in my Skeletron arena. Uh, for comparison, when I did this this time, uh, I was using Necro Armor, I think, for all of the mech bosses. Um, I have like 4,000 hours. There are items that I don't know of in the game. Um... I'm talking about killing the Eater of Worlds for a worm scuff. A lot of eyes all over the place, too. This was also before they had the, the 10k stack limits. Um, so I had to actually restock on ammo a lot more frequently. And... Okay, yeah. I, I, I have the damage to kill him by the end of the night. Good wisdom. If Helpies can show up, Wyverns can show up. And, um, so this was handguns only, it wasn't Phoenix Blaster only, and after I killed Plantera, I got the Venus Magnum, and I just used the Venus Magnum. Um, but I decided after that... Let's see, let's see that crazy reaction. There we go, did you hear that shit? God, the excitement in my voice, just dripping with emotion. Okay. And then Phoenix Blaster. Great thumbnail. Phoenix Blaster shooting Moon Lord. You can barely hear the video. It's quiet, yeah. Um, so I have 28,000 bullets. I'm using the Flying Dutchman mount. I also have a Star Ward. Um, and solo flare armor, it looks like. So I had a way better build than when I was doing that here. Um, and I don't think I knew how his tongue worked at this point. I didn't know how the healing mechanic worked. Um, so I was, like, trying to kill all the leeches, and I think I'm using luminite bullets. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> what an inventory god damn okay okay so <laughs> entire fucking thing filled with luminite bullets full stack of iron skin swiftness regen endurance wrath rage life force seafood dinner i'm using solar flare armor Recon scope, sniper scope, worm scarf, 
Onk sh fucking Onk Shield, Charm of Myths, Starboard, and Brain of Confusion. This was not before the Moon Lord. This I went back after I beat the game. Okay. In for comparison, why Solar Flare and not Vortex? Staying alive? I don't know. Probably the same reason I used Beetle Shell this time. Um, it's got HP regen, a lot of defense, and 30% damage reduction. I mean, it's, it's good. But yeah, I have enough damage to kill the Cloths with Luminite Bullets. So what I'm doing here... Okay, okay. What I'm using Chlorophyte Bullets, and then whenever his tongue hits me and the leeches come out, I'm opening my inventory and switching to Luminite Bullets. And using the Luminite bullets to kill the, uh, the cloths. Because I need the piercing in order to, to kill them in time. Because Chlorophyte bullets, I, I didn't have enough damage for it. But the piercing with Luminite let me hit them when multiple of them would show up. And for comparison, this took 45 minutes. It took me like 50 minutes doing it this time, and my damage was, like, way worse. Are Luminite Bullets faster? Luminite Bullets are piercing. Like, multiple clots show up. You might be able to see it here in a sec. Um, when his tongue comes out here. Um, no, you couldn't really. But, like, when multiple clots come out, Chlorophyte doesn't do enough damage to, like, it has to hit, I have to hit, like, all of my shots that I can hit. And the later spawns will block the bullets from hitting the ones that are already damaged, but the piercing is, is what's important there. Okay, but I did not have the insignia. I only had the starboard. Because um, I had not killed the Empress of Light yet. I think I killed the Empress of Light after this. Um, for the first time and got the insignia. But yeah, you can see it here. I was much worse at the game at this point. Uh, keep on for ammo searching with Break Ranger? Not really. I'm using the sniper scope while kiting him across the world with the Flying Dutchman to look at where he is and shoot him. And then I'm changing my aim to hit the clots whenever they show up. <laughs> God, that is janky as fuck. I forgot that's how I did that. Okay. Sniper scope is actually kind of cool for something like this. This is one of the few situations where it's nice to have. Also, as a reminder, there was no auto fire when I was doing this. I was spamming all of this by hand. Okay. And he's about to die. If you think this is bad, what about the fucking wooden bow? Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think it's going to be it for the stream today. It's been almost eight hours. <clears throat> interesting. I have a mix of warding and lucky. That's an interesting decision. What did I get? SDMG. Oh, just SDMG, because this is before. Right. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, bye, everyone.